the yellow bar at the top. Excuse the interruption. Mac and Jay Sports Champs. That's Mac. That's Jay. I'm Mac. That's Jay. Mac and Jay Sports Champs. We like Mac and G's. Except it's Mac and Jay. You can't have one without the other, man. You can't have one without the other. What we do, Jay? You know what it is, man. We're just your friendly neighborhood podcasters, man. Thank y'all for staying tapped in with us. Locked in. We took last week off. My daughter had a game, but I'm back now from San Diego. Yeah, pushed in. We're here. Live in the studio. 430 every Thursday on YouTube. Live. Follow us on Instagram. We're coming back. Mac and Jay Sports Champs. TikTok while it's still there. Follow us. Mac and Jay Sports Champs. And uh, what, we got an X. No, we ain't got an X. But uh, yeah, there it is. Mac and Jay, your boys, 430. Man, like, subscribe, tell a friend. We're going to do it again. We're here for the win, man. Let's go. Big facts. Big facts. Mac like Jay. Jay said, make sure y'all like and subscribe. Somebody already gave us a thumbs up. Appreciate whoever that is that just gave us the thumbs up. Salute to you. Salute to you. Make sure y'all share, 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 share. We're going to get right to these sponsors. Oh, we dropped the sponsor. Yep. I'm not even going to bring up who not the sponsor no more. Don't matter. But we're looking for more sponsors. If you want to be a sponsor of the tap Mac in. and Jay show, tap in with mm-hmm. us. Hit myself, Mac. I hit Jay. And we'll let you know what you need to do to be one of our faithful sponsors. Church. Let's get into one of our faithful sponsors. Thunderbolt Cookies. Hello. The best cookies in the land. Please believe me. Listen, you know the jingle how I used to say, but this is what I want y'all to do. Place your orders. Make sure you get them for whoever in your life. Who you're thinking about. Relative, mm-hmm. child, grandma, mom, boyfriend, girlfriend, yourself. We know you're a cookie monster. <laughs> I you just love Sesame saying? Place. You know what yesterday I'm saying? with my baby boy. Oh, you were, <laughs> Yeah, that's what we went to say. It was at Sesame Place. Oh, okay. Cookie Monster was out there. And Jabril went crazy for them. Oh, okay, okay, we okay. We went big. We had a bump. Okay. Shout out to Sesame Place. That's off the hook. They robbing parents, though. Seventy nine dollars to park. That's just what to park. Seventy nine a park. Yeah, it's five of y'all. Yeah. So how much it costs again per per person? Well, I mean, oh, it was, I think it was eighty nine. It was eighty nine a ticket. Oh, so you spent about two racks. Oh, well, and then when you walk in there, everything is nothing, nothing less than forty dollars. Nothing that you get. Nothing is gonna be less than forty dollars. You spent about twenty five. Oh yeah, we had a ball. We had a ball. It was for the kids. Everything is for the kids. It's all for the girl. My wife went bananas. Thank you, baby. Love you. Give <laughs> Church. Mm-hmm. But yeah, get I should get some cookies for my wife. That's what I'll do. Probably do that. So shout out to Thunderboat. Shout out to the chef. And place your order and quit playing. Thunderboat cookies. Place your orders and quit playing, like Jay said. Go online and find them at www.thunderboatcookies.com. Mm-hmm. Or you can find them on Instagram at Thunderboat Cookies. And the man behind the cookies is the chef. Also on Instagram at Chef Darnay LaRue. Yeah, make sure you tap in with them. Let them know that Mac and Jay sent you. All right. Um, the chef also got this 420 brunch coming up the weekend of 420. Not actually on 420, but that's Saturday. They got a really nice brunch with some um infused delights, yeah, delectable delights. Yeah, they, they got some with and some without. So uh-huh. don't worry, everything will not be infused. Exactly. You get you, you yeah. choose your speed, and yeah. you pick your lane, yeah. and then you do your thing. Yeah, and, and, and it's gonna real, be on the website too for him. Yes, yeah, it's, it's on there. It's, yeah. it's on uh Chef Darnay Larue Instagram. Yeah, you can go on his link. It's more information on there. He's posting about it, so you can go there and check him out. Zilla, I'll be in there. Smoking and eating every night. Mm-hmm. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get in the garden. Got the variety pack back. Y'all thought we was playing around? We got the rosé rich. Yeah. We got the other rich, the regular rich. You want to be rich? We got the vintage rose. 2012, my year there, I got married. Oh, got that. Wow, got the other rose here, too. You want, a, you want a regular rose? Get in there. Get the, get the thorns up. You need a demi set? Run yourself. Yeah. You need vitamin C? Get your life right. Yeah. Bust something, brother. Oh, I'm going to bust this rose, B. Get it, brother. Get bust it. This rose, Do it. Bust the rose. I feel like. Watch them thorns. I feel like what? Watch the thorns. You see, I got my hand at the top. The thorns. Hey, 
Whatever's in the middle, I'm busting. Here it is. You know what I'm mean? saying? Watch them thorns. Hey, man, watch the thorns. And the man. God with the rose, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, I've been waiting. I've been itching to get back to the, to the studio to do the show. Yeah, man, you didn't hear from me last week. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. But we back. We back like we never left. Exactly. Thank y'all. Thank you know what I'm saying? We here. We ain't going nowhere. Locked it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this, this is aggressive. Baby. That was Wimby. This is aggressive. <laughs> no, nah, you know what? I don't want to shoot y'all like that tonight. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I, Ooh. I, I, I didn't want to shoot to the sky today. Man, that silent but deadly. You know what I mean? Because you know what? I was like, I didn't want to waste no rose. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Roses is my favorite, B. Roses. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I think the Demi my favorite. But I think the Dem I, I think the Rich is my favorite. You love the Rich. rich? Now you know the Rich. rich. You so you so, you supposed to ice. Oh, okay. Because that's what. Yeah, they used to have a little thing on it to yeah. you know, tell you to make the little cocktail yeah. of it. Yeah. They had an ice uh, yeah. situation. Yeah. So you actually ice the champagne? Uh, yeah. okay. I don't, but I would. I no, would. I, I, would know, I, I need to, I need to uh, verify that, but it's definitely no, no. That's facts. Because I remember my nigga. It used to have a little woo wop on it, the little attachment. Yeah. And then it had, and, it, and you open it up, and then it'll show you, like, nigga, the cocktail to make with it. And it did say ice. Who, who washed these, B? Oh, who, who poured these? You just said you didn't want to waste no roses and pour it all on the ground. Bubbleization. Alcohol abuse. God damn. Damn, bro. Just like whoever watched this did, like, little kids used to do back nah, in the day. Nah. Go in, go in the bathroom and just move water around. Nope. Did it thorough, thorough. Fuck out of here. What does watching have to do with you pouring a bad pour? Ass nigga. Hey, bro. Calm down, B. Yeah. 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 Relax. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whatever, man. Uh, solutions. Solutions, solutions oriented. Salute to y'all. Oh, man. Mm. Ah, I see the viewers coming in. We see y'all uh, tapped in. Thank y'all for viewing. Oh, that's it right there. Woo! Ah. Yes. Oh man, that's worth a solar eclipse. Y'all check out the eclipse out on Monday. Oh, California, we ain't, we ain't got a good view. Oh, we, we have one coming up on Monday. Yeah. Oh, that's tight. It's fucked up. How, how, how we can't see the sun right in California? <laughs> like it's the sun, California. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to that eclipse it's coming out Monday too. Like my new like a hat, B. It's hard, huh? <clears throat> yeah. <all right. clears throat> you ready? You feel all right, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's Miami, Hammy. Are hey, you like my leg hat, though? Nah, man. Shit, I ain't even looking at that shit. No, nah, it's cool, though. Honey. I don't like trucker hats, so I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm fitted to the death. Oh, yeah, you got you to gotta expand your horizon. And then they got the new fitted trucker. You I, ain't even seen them. I think I've been seeing them. I like them. I got a, I got a, you get one of them? I, I got a fitted trucker. And I'll be like, I like your hat. I got a fitted trucker. Yeah, well, until I, I don't like all just all fitted. I like snaps. Well, that's your bag. Yeah, I like snaps. Yeah, I, I don't do no snaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No snaps. I only, I, yeah, I do bra straps. Yeah, very proud. That's the only unsnapping I'm doing. Under that, it better just be one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While, while you're popping. Yeah, that's what, yeah. While you're popping. She know. Yeah. <laughs> I know my sister I watching. I do, motherfucker. Yeah, I know my sister that's watching, bro. That's the only bruh. snap, snap, <laughs> While you're snapping. over here, I'm talking about uh, 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 bra straps. Yeah. Yeah. You pop a hey. bra, bra strap. Yeah. Mr. Mary Man. Multiple Mary, times. Bro. 2012. <laughs> I was at the wedding. I was there. Vintage. I was there, B. Vintage. Hey, I'm just spilling out all. <laughs> One week off, and you don't know how to act. Hey, man, that wedding was nice, too, bro. The reception was hard. Oh, we had a ball. Oh, hey. That reception was nice, man. Love you, baby. Love you. I like that venue, man. Mm -hmm. Nice, man. They hadn't used it as a venue until we did it. Yeah. Shit, found it. They didn't even know. They didn't even know. I bet you on Airbnb for like no. 2,000 a day now. Now, now it's a. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's definitely two racks. Exactly. <laughs> Hour. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Easy. Go. Yeah, man. You know, let's get into these topics, what man. Do it? I'm freestyling all day today because I, I left all my questions in San Diego. They got wet. And everything, so I'm just I'm just here with y'all, the people. You done with your excuses? I don't have no excuses. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you building us up for your excuses? I'm letting you know that I'm a flow and it's gonna go. Let's go. I'm ready. You always flow and go. Exactly. Do we need to put our seatbelt on? Not today. Oh, okay. Because you know, uh -uh. you know what I'm saying. I'm concise and precise today. Quick, fast, in a hurry. I'm ready to Let's rock. see. 
Oh, uh, before we go on to that, are we yeah. gonna do a 420 special? Oh, they should. Is it on? Is it on? Is it on? Uh... No, we did oh, one on 420 two years ago. That was, oh, that was two years ago. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. we were hard. Hey, man, yeah, yeah. but we definitely next no, week. No, no, that we're gonna bring the hey, man, back in two weeks. Yes, hey, man. So that means I need to uh order the thing to uh fix it all the way, like we talked about. Fully, hey, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going up in two weeks. We're going, hey, hey man. man. <laughs> J Mon, <laughs> Mac Mon, yeah Mon. <laughs> All right, let's get into the show. Let's do it. Do it. Bing, 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 bing. That's the breaking news for the Mac and J today. Kobe Bryant's yeah. first ring from the year two thousand. Mm -hmm. I was selling t-shirts at that champion. All the playoff, the whole playoff championship, everything. You out there signing them? Racked up. Yeah. Probably went about. 15, 20. Easy. Easy. Yeah. From the start of the playoff to the end. Cow out? Yeah. Caked up. 15, 20, thou? Caked up. Okay. Yeah. Caked up. Moving into 201. And 01, you uh, have no, no ball. That was 2000. Thousand. That was in the 99, 2000. In the, in the Y2K? That was the 99, 2000. Bars. Yeah. I was working at, I was working at UPS. I took off. Like, I, shit, to make 15? I wasn't, yeah, it wasn't all in one day. It was just no, no, like, over, yeah. the, over the duration. From the start of the playoffs. Yeah. But, but once we won, oh, nigga, that's where the, fit, that's where the 20 kicked in. It was cracking. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Probably, Marsh. Probably about 15. Okay. I wanted to put extra five, but it sound better. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's see. Uh, Oh, yeah. Kobe Bryant championship ring was sold by his parents. Yeah. Um. For like nine hundred and some racks. How you feel about that? Family broke. You feel me? And, and, and see, this comes back to Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean, you played in the NBA, fam, and then you went international and played overseas. They weren't making no money. Took though. Kobe overseas. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You no played in the NBA. Save your money. Do something, man. You did right, homie. You didn't have to work for a living. You played basketball for a living. You made enough money to be able to have be fine. Your son ended up being a gangster, thugging it out. And being one of the best players ever, and won five years, the best. Yeah, they you know I mean ever. I, I'm, I'm up, I'm up there with him. I, I feel the argument. You know what I'm saying? I won't be able to, but I feel the argument. But what I'm saying is, we know Kobe. See, the the good thing is we've known Kobe since he was 17. Yeah, y'all knew him from zero to seven, but we knew him at 17, and we know that he don't fuck with y'all. You feel me? Y'all didn't fuck with him, and this is while he was alive. Y'all didn't fuck with him. He didn't fuck with y'all. Moms, sisters, dad. Y'all know what it is. So, shit. I, I, I salute Vanessa for making sure that they don't have no bread. And whatever they got to do to get bread, fine. Find it out and figure it out. Done. Hmm. Yes, clearly. Clear that they need some bread. Mm -hmm. It's not the first time they sold some of Kobe's memorabilia. Not the first time, yep. when Kobe was alive, they, they got off his. They sold his like high school trophies yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. And I think Kobe had to go buy it back, or he tried to stop it. He, yeah, I think he tried to stop it. He, he, was, he was he was obviously upset about it. But you know what this really stemmed from? I, I really don't know what it stemmed from. But it, it, somebody brought this up the other day, yeah. and I was like, oh, so what is it? what was it from? When his parents didn't go to his wedding, homie, I mean, you know, because remember they used to be at all the games. Everybody, Mama, as soon as Daddy, he started fucking with Vanessa, yeah. and then before they they, they wrapped go, him up, they didn't go to the wedding, homie. I mean, right. So in his mind, we all know in his mind right there, they died breathing. You so, feel me? So so no. you, you, you imagine your wedding, your parents are alive and they don't show up. Even though they don't agree with what you're doing, they don't even show up though. They didn't even show up, bro. Didn't. You know what I mean? What there? Mama dance, mama son dance, uh just nothing. Yeah. So you know, I mean, you know, we were just talking about my wedding and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So 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 son. I don't know if that's what the what it started from, you know, but you know, I know they didn't attend the wedding because they didn't you know, as a parent, sometimes you gotta like fall back. You may not like the person, but you can't just not show up to the wedding. I mean, you, can't do it like you know that. what I'm saying? The way you did that was yeah. just wrong. You may not you know. You just show up to the family events. Huh? That don't mean you got to rock with them or, or none of that. You know what I'm saying? And over time, you would have, see, if you would have did it right, if you would have, everybody is a, hey, you do your parenting the way you do your parenting, I mean, and I'll do mine, and that's fine. But what I'm saying is, if you would have did it right, 
That's your child, B. So if you even if you don't agree with his decision of, of the girl that he chose and everything, which she stayed with him the entire time. She's still down. And, 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 he, and he made he's down. He's obviously he obviously made the right decision. Listen, because she stayed Call down. Me not a fucking idiot, he, dog. Look, look, look. She stayed down and kept it solid after the Colorado solid. thing. Solid. And kept it and kept it solid. You feel me? That's so she could have left it to half. Yeah. And they was worried about it because he didn't make her sign a prenup. Type thing. You know what I'm saying? Type thing. And now look at her. He picked a great woman, homie, to have kids with. Yep. And like the way she handled herself at his funeral, at his um at, at, at a Every, ceremony. Everywhere in the yeah, like, She not out here. Yeah. She not, we don't hear about her. Nothing. We don't yeah. hear no, you know, Shenandoahville. Yeah. You know what I mean? Vanessa has held it a million percent down. And yo, and I know that had to be odd. I know for the times, maybe she got some slippage. Through the marriage, I mean, ain't nobody perfect, but like, ain't nobody perfect. Ain't, ain't, nobody, ain't nobody perfect. Marriage perfect ain't nobody relationship yeah, perfect. Yeah. All of that. Yeah. And I do know that he hollered at her. I'm sure that he, as husband and wife, and from 17 to 41 when he died, she knew what page he was on, what he was talking about. He knew that we keep my parents like this. You feel me? I don't get down. We don't get down. You feel me? And like, and yeah. so whatever. And, see, and that's why little petty stuff. It's whack sometimes, especially it when it comes to like parent stuff to kids. To kids, your, you know? your kid can be mad at you all you want, and that's fine because they because they don't grow up and they do the thing. And I tell my kids all the time, like you can decide at the end when it's all that you don't want to fuck with me. I'll be like, damn, you know that's fucked up, but that's but I'm gonna give you everything I got for the until you got to get out the house. You feel me? Yeah. And I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna rear you up all the way you're supposed to go. I'm gonna give you everything I got for the 18. And at the end of that, if you wanna. If you say, I ain't for you, I ain't your cup of tea, all right, cool. You make a decision and you do what you got to do. I'll be here chilling, waiting for you to call me and let me know when you want to see all that shit. I'll be here. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be here, but kids going to make their decision. You can't go parent to kid and put that on them like that. Nah, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah, they and he was 17 when he, you know what I mean? They had to co-sign his, uh, they had to co-sign his cotton, his liquor contract. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? But his yeah. wedding, he got married at 18 Thank and she you. was 17 and it was, Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, so you know, obviously, they needed some bread, they got 900,000. Wow, but I, I'm sure that the place that sold it got some bread too. Yeah. 900,000 in 2024 really ain't that much, it really ain't that you know much. what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, they're gonna be back looking again and like, like trying to figure out uh, something else to what's say. The next one to do, you know what I'm saying? Probably, you know what I'm saying? Can we do an interview? Y'all want to interview me? Man, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised Vanessa did just rebuy it, like. But but you know what? It's just it's just a it's just a thing, though. It's just a. You right? Cause they with Genie. You know what I'm saying? They, they have Genie. They had a Lakers make another one. Exactly. They had a Lakers make them a. Yeah. Make a new one. There's one. Here you go. Yeah. Cool. His, his old one is gone. Here it is. Yeah. Boom. We, yeah. we have that template still for where we did. You want to do a new one or, yeah. or the original Wu Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. They with Genie heavy. They, yeah. Genie love Kobe, so you know that's. That's 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 one million. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, man, it is what it is. Uh, Jelly Bean and his mama and Kobe, uh, uh, the Bryant's do better. Oh man, do better. That's it. Bye. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. On that note, NFL bans the hip drop tackle. I already know where you're going with this. And I'm glad that we're gonna disagree. So go ahead. Then you go. You no, 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 go ahead. No, go ahead. You go, go first. Ahead. No, no, no. If you first. think you know what I'm gonna do, then go ahead. Nah, I'm good. Go ahead. Put your seatbelts on, ladies and gentlemen. We about to go on a ride. I'm so glad. Let me let me say <laughs> you're right. I am so glad that the Patriots did what they did. In my time of life, and I got to watch football, and I got to be young and live and die with football. Time when it was football, and when it was really football. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad I got to have a 20 year dynasty, win six Super Bowls, play in 10 Super Bowls, have a ball, lose a few, win a few. When football was football, man, because this new thing that they're doing now, this new football that we're about to be watching from 24 on, this this is like. Both of my sports are really disappointing to me in my heart. Basketball is going somewhere else. Too. Okay, we're talking about the hip no, drop. But the hip drop tackle. Thank you. They, they, they. What they really should have did was make this a five yard penalty, and then I would have been fine with it. But to make it fifteen, to do the, now they got the kickoff all fucked up. The hip hip drop now. 
How are you supposed to tackle somebody who's running away from you? If they're running away from you and you can't let go and drop your weight to stop them, then what are you going to do? Jump on their back, piggyback ride, and go on? I'm like, what are you supposed to do now? They've completely legislated defense out of the game. It's not going to be the same. They want more points. They want everything. They want to be playing in Germany, playing in London, playing in Japan, Africa, and Mexico. And so they just want to make it a new game that is just something different that we haven't seen before. You won't be able to tackle anyone anymore in football. So bring the flags out. We're waiting for 2027. Flags. It's coming. Mm -hmm. It's already an Olympic sport. So go ahead and make it 11 with 11 flag. Mm -hmm. We're all waiting. It'll be there soon. Done and done with the NFL with the goofiness. I'm not gonna just keep making this money and tricking me. Fuck that. I didn't get YouTube. I'm not getting it this year. Fuck the package. Fuck YouTube. NFL legislative defense out. Trash. I'm done. Okay, so uh Okay, so <clears throat> the hip drop tackle was used 230 times last year, um, resulted in 15 players missing time with injuries, 6.5% injury rate. The the issue, and, I, and I'm okay with the hip drop tackle being taken out the game. Um, I'm okay with it because it's one of them football plays that sometimes when I see it done, when it's about to happen, I always cringe because it's it's almost like the horse collar. You know what I mean? It's identical. It's tackling somebody from behind and bringing them back from behind. It always results in a person being bent back with their leg back. Are they breaking their knee? Are they breaking their ankle? Most, most of the time when a player's out, they're out for like the season. You know what I'm saying? Off a of hip hip drop tackle injury, and a lot of times now that was the horse. Color. No, no horse I'm, color. I'm talking. I'm talking. Now your hip drop is six point five percent, like you said. No, but what I'm what I'm what I'm saying is is that even on a horse collar, people didn't always get injured. You know what I'm saying? Right. But well, we when saw they, what they were well, doing. When they did though. It, it was, was bad. Yeah. Leg so, leg. so 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 the hip drop tackle is the same. They don't always get injured, but oh, when man. they when they do, look, the boy uh, Andrews. Hip drop tackle out for the year. Okay. Um, the boy in Dallas, uh, Pollard. Um, we we hit drop tackled him in the in, in the playoff. Yeah. Out ACL. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Uh, broken ankle. Broken ankle. Yeah. Exactly. He, he was trash and he was too light. So no, fuck it. I don't care. No, 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 no. But but all I, all I'm saying is 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 that the hip drop tackle is just one of those tackles like the horse collar that is just. It's just it's just too dangerous. No, okay. Well, it's just too dangerous. Here's my pushback for you, Sam, because you're you we can't compare it to the horse collar. See, the horse collar is them grabbing equipment. Now, if you grab the shoulder pads and then let yourself go, now that's foul. Like we know that you can't just grab the shoulder pads and then let and go for a ride and take a nigga down. That, that's what Roy Williams, that's what Roy Williams got his ass out the league because he was tearing everybody's ACL, and that's what the niggas were doing on the sideline. You can't do that, grab equipment. But if I grab you. We're playing tackle football. I got to tackle you and you running. You, you just ran by me, fam. So when I grab you and you're running by me, how am I going to stop you from running? Mac, how, once I grab your waist and I grab you, what am I? The, the only way I can stop you is to use my weight to slow you down and to bring you down. You're going to have to hold him up and wait for your team if you're not strong enough to take him down. He's, he's running by me, fam. Like, no, you? but I'm saying if you're strong, then you can bring him down. You don't got to drop okay, your if you're not strong. Him. So now you're just – so now there is – like you can't even well, – it, It's a broken tackle then, and it happens. Oh. It's a broken tackle. What I'm saying is what do you want defender? This this fucks – defenders now have to be thinking about so much shit that you can't even play defense anymore. I and think, this is going to make defenders get hurt. Even more now, when defenders get hurt, nobody cares. I think I nobody think, cares when defenders think, get hurt. I think that's an excuse. No, it's, it's not, not an it's excuse. Not, it's not going to make them get hurt. Yes, it's it not is. Not going to do anything to them. It needs to be taken out the game. First of all, the hip drop tackle is something that that people just really kind of really start doing. And what they ain't been doing a hip drop tackle for a thousand years. They've been doing it. They've been doing it since it's day a, one. It's a rugby tackle. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's it's not. not rugby, bro. No, it's not. It no, is. No, it's, not. it's a rugby tackle. The hip drop tackle. It come from rugby. 
Listen, in, in, in the 80s, okay. in the eighties, they was not doing hip drop tackles, bro. Yeah, because you could blast everybody everywhere. You know there was clotheslining niggas in the 80s. What you talking? Yeah. You could do everything. Yeah, yeah. You didn't, I didn't need to. But you can't close on no more. Some things you got to take out. But this court. isn't one. Yeah, the hip drop tackle was one. No. They'll be okay. It was only 240 tackles that were hip drops. So that they're qualifying is I don't agree with these numbers. These yeah, numbers, I, I, because there's a lot of tackles where niggas don't get hurt. Like like you said, only 6% of the time there's an injury. And, and that's the and time. When that, they, and when it is an injury. They out for the season. No. See, yes. because running backs and, and wide receivers know. A lot of motherfuckers know that now when they grab you, they're about to uh, unleash. And so they get their feet right. They don't let you bring you down. So they start chopping, chopping, uh, go and let you take you down like you go down. There is no reason to legislate. Like, to, to... Okay. Okay. Well, then this, here's my, here's what, here's what I would like to see from it. I would like to see it be like, like motherfucking uh, running into or roughing the path, the punter. I would like to see it be a five or a 15 yard variety penalty where the ref can choose like, yo, okay, boom. That was a five yard hip drop. Don't do that. You shouldn't be doing that five yards. And if it's egregious, it's 15. Because, and a whole because, some of like, them, because I'm going to be real with you. When I see them, and I'm gonna be real, and I, I be seeing I, them, I, I, and I, I, I smell you a thousand because I because I be cringing too. I be rewinding yeah. like, oh, did he did he get up? Show yeah, me the nigga. Did yeah. he get up? Because oh, he's okay. Because like I feel because you. it's really a dirty play, low key. It, it's part of not the all the time, Mac. Not but, all but the it, time. Part of, not all the time. It's one of them plays. I mean, football is a you know you trying to hurt people. You you Somebody got to play deep. Yeah, you're not trying to hurt people. Trying to answer whatever you're trying to say. I try to put people out the game. And, you know what I'm saying? That's always the best option. But they're like, trying to stop you from getting yeah, yards. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? But when they get it and they come down, because my team, we do it all the time. Fred, Fred Warner do it all the time. I see him hip dropping all the time. I know. You know what I'm saying? I know. But um, I just I just feel like it, it's similar to the horse collar. And God, it's not because that's equipment. Quick, no, but I, I'm not talking about equipment. I'm talking about that's the way I mean. you're bringing them back. On the and they're they can't get their feet from up under. But Mac, not all of them are like that. Not all but, the hip but, drops but, are like that. But most of them are. But all 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 the horse collars aren't like that. All of them wasn't bad. No, that's so, true. So, but they had to get it off the game. You know what I'm saying? And I agree with you. But when but when you're grabbing equipment, then that's a different thing. If I'm gonna but, grab your shoulder pads and go for a ride where I can't, but if I grab your waist, you can still break the tackle. You can spin on me and you can get out. Like, but motherfucker, when I grab you though, like. And but I gotta drop down on you. I know your. That's legs. all I got. That's I, all I, I have. But I know. But I know your legs is up under me, and I'm and I'm breaking your shit. I'm just saying. That's not necessary. You said we just said the numbers only show that it happens six percent of the time. But when it do, it's six percent of the time, and it's broken okay. ankles. Okay, that's why it should be a five to a fifteen yard variety. No, like what, a, what it needs, like, what it really needs to be is like like you, you just can't do it no more. Hell, you. Okay, so then, so just then no more. So everybody, so here's what it is: when you catch it, mm -hmm. you say, "I'm down here, I'm down here," and if you're not down here, then we touch you and we or we pull your flag or we do something. No, no, just there's the, no more tackling the, people it anymore. Is, it is tackling. You can't hit the quarterback anywhere. You, you can't. You can't hit the quarterback anywhere but here. You can't. You can hit a running back anywhere you want in the world. You can hit him however you want, head to toe. But now you can't hip drop. Well, because horse, you can't, collar, you can't, you head. can't, you can't hit a quarterback below the knees because people was overdoing it. They was going for quarterback knees. They weren't overdoing it. Yes, they was. They were falling into quarterbacks like what happens in football when a lineman's pushing you nah. and you're chasing the quarterback. Nah, I mean, the I, Tom Brady rule that happened. It's a Tom. It's the Tom Brady rule. When Tom, it was a random event when it, when, when the Kansas City nigga, I remember Pollard fell into his leg. He had got blocked into Tom by a line and fell into him, and it was no, he you know, didn't have any control. You know, you know what's funny is when I used to play sports, I used to make things look like they was an accident too. You feel me? Like when, when you did somebody like and I pass the ball and I thought and it hit you in the face and it, and it didn't go to my teammate, and I'm like, oh, you okay? Yeah, that's an accident. You know what I'm saying? But it was really on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Some of those, some of them plays yes, in football, there are uh, so so there's, there's so, a, so so some of them plays when it was going at the quarterback knees. It was on purpose, well, so they had to get it out the game. Well, eventually, you won't be able to tackle anyone. Well, that, so that's the game, because the intent it, it is that every nigga in the league is thinking about how he the, can. The problem is the problem is this, not the problem, 
the, oh, ble- the, the blessing is this. And all these people that's oh, whining, all these people that's whining getting paid millions of dollars because you can't hip drop tackle anymore, but you're making millions of dollars. Learn how to tackle without doing a hip drop. You're making millions of dollars. Stop, that. stop whining. You're you know what I'm saying? Go get it. figure it out. Stop. It's gone. You can't do it no more. You know what I'm saying? They're not paying DBs and safeties. Yeah, and you, can't, you, can't, like they're paying, you can't. You can't do it anymore. Like they're paying a wide receivers. Shit, receiver. DBs get paid. Yeah, DBs get paid. Well, if you good, this shit coming on. I'm gonna tell you right now. No, it ain't gonna, gonna be. It ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be as bad as you defense think. Defense is out the league. What I let me tell you what I don't like, and it's more. Let me tell you what I don't like. Yeah. The one, the one, one thing I don't like is the pass interference where they move the ball up to the spot of the foul. I, I don't like that. Well, that's where it's got to be. Yeah, I, I don't like that. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the one I don't like. But the hip drop tackle. Well, take that away from the offense then. Well, take something away from the offense. Some, but you know what? Make pass interference a 15-yard but penalty the then. Thing is, the thing is, is that. Everything else is. To my point, to the money that's being made, whether some people is making all the money or not. But some people are making the money. And the people that are making the money, that's keeping. Offense. The, that's keeping the, the tight ends, the running back. They want to keep them on the field. You can't make no money if Pollard is on the bench. You can't make no money if Andrews is not playing. You can't make no money. He's going to get hurt with something else. Look, look, he's going he to have some, something else going to get hurt. It's a 100% injury rate in the NFL. Absolutely. There's none, so you're not going to not but get we're, hurt. We're, take, so, we're so, taking out the egregious plays. No, we're not ta- oh, I'm gonna yeah. take, well, I'm going to – if I – We're taking out – As a defender, yeah. I would be the one who just set aside that bread. I'm just setting aside the bread. You're going to be out the league. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm setting aside the You're bread. You're going to be though. Jay out the lead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to knock your block off. Jay out the lead. And, you, and, and everything so you going to keep do, doing the hip drop? Absolutely. Yeah, right. Knock it off. I'm playing football. Knock it off. I can't tackle a motherfucker who's running away from me without dropping my hips. Or what am I going to do? Just ride? Let him run? We're going to run together? The the hip drop tackle is similar to the horse 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 collar. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Relook at it. No, it's not. It is. Well, it's not. I it look is. at it all the time. It I, is. I've seen a million. It is. And, and, it, and, and it's, sometimes you get hurt. And, and every, sometimes you and every time you somebody, like the horse collar. Every time somebody but hit, if I'm not grabbing Every equipment, time somebody hip drop tackle. And it's not every time. They're always. It's not every time. The person getting tackled. It's not every time. The person that's getting tackled. Well, don't say every time. No. If you let me finish, then I can say what I got to say. Every time a person getting tackled on a hip drop tackle, they legs is up under them. And it always looked like they about to be hurt like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So you got to take it out the game. And then they get up and jump up. And then yeah, but if when they don't, it's an ankle and it's an ACL. So you got to take it out. Or they get up. Same thing on the horse collar. 6% of the same time. Thing, same, 6% of the time the, they're the hurt. Horse, the horse collar was 6% too. No, it wasn't. But they took it out. Yes, no, it, it was. was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Because no, that was all ACL. Yes, and it was. was really only one motherfucker doing it. Yes, it was. It was really only one motherfucker doing it. Yeah. So hip drop is gone. So y'all can whine all y'all want to. It's gone. It's not coming back. Trash. Adjust. NFL, trash. Adjust. Adjust. <coughs> be, be like water. Flow like water. Well, that's your Bruce Lee for the people. Yeah. Stop complaining. Well, keep complaining. Yeah. What whiners? Keep complaining. Yeah. You ain't heard no real no real good players complaining about it. They're just gonna make adjustments. Next. They're gonna make adjustments. Somebody else is out of here. Out of Buffalo. Out of what? Out of Buffalo. Just because I didn't say that I wanted Wonderful. to touch. Mm, mm. Don't Uh-oh. mean that I don't want to. A little more Buffalo. Just because I didn't say that I wanted to love. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, I second it. I'm going to put that on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stephon Diggs up out of Buffalo. Like you would say, Buffalo. Buffalo. And he's found himself with the Houston Texans. Yo! Woo! Hey, yo! Yay! What they doing over there, Houston? Yo, B, they went into the division over there, B. The division is this. Easy go! No question. Now we, yo, now there's a team in Texas that know what the fuck they do. Hey, yo, the Houston Texans? The Houston Texans in two years. We're not gonna count the three. We're gonna just say two years. So the mark. No, yeah. we're gonna say three years. I'm gonna say three. In the three, three for sure. Yeah, three. The shine was gone. Yeah, it's been two. It's been one year and two years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The three, the three, easy. They didn't turn it around, bro. But you know one thing I'm gonna say about the Houston Texans. They are an organization that are historically 
ran good. They are. I, I'm not saying that they win championships, but they know how to draft. They went through the Bill O'Brien. They kind of like, yeah. But, they, I, I, but I, I'm just saying. From the top, they run. I, I'm saying even from the Oiler days. They're, oh, easy. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, like they, okay, yeah. They win. You want to take me back to the Oilers? Yeah. They yes. may not win a Super Bowl, yes. but they're constantly putting, okay. they're putting together good yes. products on the field. Easy. Call. You know what I'm saying? Like some teams like Detroit historically put a bad team, but now they got a good team going. I love it. that you brought the Houston Oilers yeah. history into it because that's important. Yeah. And then, yes. I am willing to go back there and say, absolutely. So they used to be out there all the time. This is a Ernest big Givens. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Warm Moon. Biner. Of course, Warm Moon. Yeah, Hamilton yeah. alum. Shout out to yeah, Warm Moon. Shout out Warm Moon. Always we went to Hamilton. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Warm Moon. Put up on the show, man. We, we Hamilton alum now. Hamilton alum. You know what I'm saying? Warm Moon. Yeah. 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 But yeah, the Houston Oilers, though. Sean Jefferson, uh, Bruce Matthews, who was a lineman for 17 years with him, Pro Bowler. Perennial Pro Bowl. Now, 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 now we can talk about a lineman. Yeah, not I mean, some center. No, a lineman. Not, not some center. Well, Bruce Matthews, left tackle. Yeah, Clay Matthews' uh, nephew. I mean, uh, his nephew. Yeah, yeah like yeah. Mm-hmm. So look, man, you're right. This, this, this guy right here, Stephon Diggs, big pickup for the Texans. They already got a nice wide receiver room already. So yeah, with Dale, him. And, then, uh, uh, and the tight end they got oh, over there. Oh, yes, yes. They just brought in Joe Mixon. Oh, my God, they did. You're right. And Joe Mixon can catch out the backfield, too. And he came for a discount. Bro, 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 come on, bro. And then on the defense end, what they did already with they the D's already rough with DeMarco. What? DeMarco is running the D. But, but they brought You're out. You're not going to be able to do nothing the, on that the, D. The cast that they brought in on the defensive end, too, bro. And CJ Stroud? Bro. CJ, he blossomed as a rookie looking like bro, he made it. But CJ Stroud, he's not gonna regress. Though. No, no, there's no, no there will be it, no it, sophomore it's, it's not gonna be. But what it will elevate the pressure on the coach, though. This is this is about to elevate the pressure on the now. It's, it's gonna elevate the pressure on the Texans, though. Even CJ Stroud for sure. Easy go, yeah. easy go. The pressure has been elevated because now we now expectations of it. So pressure comes with expectations for sure, y'all. We expect them to win the division. They, they won a the playoff game, didn't they? Yeah, they won a wild card. Did they or did they? Or did they, they made it to the playoffs and lost? And lost. They lost to Kansas City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Kansas City. What they so, uh, so, 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 so. What hap- What has to happen is there's expectations now. For oh no, you're expecting them right now to be the third best team in the in the AFC, top five at least. They got to win in the top five at least. Top five at least. Top five. At you least. got Kansas City. You got Baltimore. It starts with that to win the division, and then they have to be top five. Like, 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 like. So, so who else you got before them? The Bengals. With Joe Ravens. Bowles. I got I got I got Kansas City Ravens. Kansas City Ravens. Um I mean you got the Bills, Miami. Bills just fell off. Yeah, they fell Miami's off. Miami's trash uh when the weather the is Bengals. football weather. I got the Bengals. I got the whole NFC North. You got the Patriots. We're not ready for next year yet. We're not ready. <laughs> We're not ready to be talked about. I'm an asshole. <laughs> oh, the Chargers gonna be there. The Chargers gonna be Not better. Next year. The Chargers gonna be better. Oh, your guy Russell with the with the Steelers is he gonna be in the in, in the conversation over there? The Jets should be coming back. No, the Jets ain't doing nothing. Aaron Rodgers and the little moves that they no, made. The Jets should be coming back next year. They may make a move. He's too old or something. The Jets. He's too old. Jets may make a move. No, the Jets. Okay, the whole the AFC South is locked. The Titans, Colts, Jaguars, nothing's going. As long as they take care of the Jags, they Sun- lost Sunshine. Too much. Sun- the Sunshine need to get up out of there. And they lost Ridley. And they lost the they, sunshine. I need to get up out of here. Tennessee may be better than a little people think. And then mm. the Colts will have uh, the boy coming back from his injury. So we'll see about them. But pr- pretty much, um, they have they're, – they're definitely top five in the motherfucking – Raiders, Broncos. T- I put them above the Chiefs. Above no, the Chiefs. No, no, no. The Chiefs won I mean, I mean I'm sorry. I, I would say Chargers. Above the Chargers for sure. Yes, above the Chargers. They've gotten rid of everything. They've cleared the cupboard. They don't know what they're doing now. No, that, so that, that, that wide receiver from TCU from the, from the We'll find out. But what I'm ball. saying is, as of right now, on paper, Texas is above the Chargers. So it's only – only ab- it's, great, like you said, Chiefs, Ravens, Bengals, Texans. They're four. And see – They're four. Who's the running back over there with the Bengals now? No idea. Somebody young. And, and Joe Burrow – I'm sorry. I got I mean, he's been injured. I love Joe Burrow. No, but as long as they have T, T they got they got a tough division over if there. T, uh, T, if T stays, if T, T plays a year out on the on the franchise tag, 
Yeah, he got better play for that twenty million. Well, if they don't trade him, if they don't like make a trade or something, like, you better get that twenty. You better learn from Le'Veon Bell. That's twenty one million. You gotta get yeah. That. So you gotta get that. But, don't do the Le'Veon. But what I'm saying, if the team don't trade him, we'll do something goofy because there's a lot of wide receivers right now. Draft day is gonna be wild. Let me tell you, if Cincinnati decides to go ahead you. and get off T Higgins and, and, and get somebody else and this, the draft, this is why this is why Buffalo it made it easy for Buffalo to get off that to, to get off of Stephon. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you said that because that, that's something that I wanted to bring up. You get off of Stephon, you got a $30 million dead cap hit. Yeah, because I think our next – do you have the Josh no, Allen? No, yeah, or, yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I do, I do. Well, yeah. But, 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 but okay, hold on. Sure, because so, I'm with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you got the $30 million dead cap hit. Mm -hmm. Should we just hop on over to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's, let's hop over to that. Yeah, yeah. Let's hop over to that. So we're going to segue to the question is, was Diggs – Stefan Diggs, the key to Josh Allen's success. All right, so I want to like continue on over to what I was gonna say, and then I'm answering the question for sure. Go ahead. It made it easy for Buffalo to come off of Diggs one because of this upcoming draft with the wide receivers that's available coming out of this draft. Absolutely, they got a decent wide receiver room. They do. Josh Allen has became. What he, he not what he was when he came to the league. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of part of the question. So, and the other thing, too, and, and, and this is what I was going to say, and then I'm going to answer the question. The wide receiver position is, is about to be similar to the running back position. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's about to be it, boom. It's, it's just a bull market. Whatever the market it, is. It, it, it's it's going to be so many good wide – because it's a throwing league now. You know what I mean? And and, and with all these camps and these and these players running these routes and – it's all, you know what I mean. It's about to be niggas know where the money is. They like don't you can't it's be just, a running back it's, if it's, you're not a quarterback. You're just, gonna be a wide receiver. It's just the yeah. thing is, is that it's it's gonna be easy for wide receivers to get a thousand yards now. You know what I'm saying? It's already because because they throwing the ball a lot. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's an extra game. It's an extra game. So you know what I mean? And it's a throwing league. It's a throwing league. So you could get off a quarterback just like I think eventually, wide a, a wide receiver. Yeah, yeah. Just like I feel like eventually the Niners is going to probably have to get up off of Debo. I thought you were going to say IU. So you want IU, right? I want IU, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want IU. Get off of Debo. I mean, if, if the salary. Y'all overuse Debo. Y'all using Debo. And I, think we not, I, think, I think we need to use. I think we need to. I know it's not our topic, but we need to put Debo. Let Debo run some real routes, too. Stop! Stop doing all this gimmick stuff. Yeah, Debo. Christian McCaffrey now. Yeah, so like uh, Debo, let, Debo's let, let, now. let Debo run some routes damn, sometimes. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but to answer the question, was was did he the Josh Allen success? Um, I, I want to say this. I want to say that he was a, a key to Josh Allen's success. I think that Josh Allen. Was a good quarterback no matter what. Oh no, easy. You, you, you know what I'm saying. So, so I'm not going to just say that Diggs was the key. It's not like um, Terrell Owens. But he made the offense, it's not. It's not like Terrell Owens with Jeff Jeff Garcia. You know what I'm saying. It's not as a Terrell Owens with Donovan McNabb. I mean, you just put you just a high producing wide receiver. You your production goes up now because you were a better quarterback. You know what I'm saying. Well, no, no, no. So. Stephon Diggs is nice, but he's a diva wide receiver, low key. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you have this diva kind of mentality and you're pouting because you're not getting a ball and your team is losing, then you drop the ball that might have changed the game in the end zone. You're getting over 30, north of 30. Like, you know, it's this is gonna be, we're gonna see. You know what I'm saying? You we, we, are they from are the brothers are the Diggs brothers? Are they from Texas? I don't know, but he's about to have a ball in Houston. Though. They both, they both, they both did now. He, he about, brothers, Dallas and Houston, they did. He about to have a ball in Houston they now. To be together, like the Yo. brothers gonna be able to, in the same state. Bro, but um, um go ahead. I, what I want to say is on the Josh Allen. We're gonna learn a lot about Josh Allen this year. Who's that on? Uh, who's that Absolutely, on? that's Chuck. Chuck. Hey! Bill Super Bowl window is gone. I, I see now. Uh, now see, see, this is why I want to say. I, I was just about. To, I'm glad you said might that, be, Chuck. Might be. I'm glad you said that, Chuck. Because what I want to see now from Josh Allen. This, see, this is what I want to see. And you're right. Going, going to the draft and get it. Josh Allen has low key had a lot around him. I think. 
I think this is going to be the time. We're about to find out a lot about him right now. No, we're about to find out. These are the years where yeah. Tom Brady went through this year when he had the David Givens and the Deion Branch. Tom Brady never really players. had a wide receiver until he got Randy Moss. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. I mean, Deion Branch was Thank nice, you. though. Deion yeah, Branch he turned nice. him into a Super Bowl MVP, but what I'm saying Deion is Branch, we, we, we would have never known his Deion name. Branch was kind of like – he was kind of like – We never would have known his he name. He was kind of like 50% of Tyreek Hill because, like, you know what I'm saying, like 75%. You know what I mean? Like, he was nice, though. He was nice. Deion Branch was he nice. He had hands on his work. And he had wheels. And, what when I'm he used to is, run, bro, oh, it no. seems like Fred, – You can't tell me. You can't tell me. You can't, no, tell, I can tell, you you. Thing. I you can't tell me a thing about the picture of Deion Branch. I was just talking about. But what I'm saying is – this is going to be Josh's year to bring an offense around him that he has to show, look, man, it is really me. It is really me. There's going to be a lot of nobody that we – they got rid of Gabe Davis. They got rid of now Stefan. So now he's coming in with Shakur, Shakir, you know what I mean, who, who, who's, a young, who's a young little monster. They're going to have to get somebody in the draft. You know what I mean? Knox have to be healthy. Uh, the other tight end – Ball Let's for say, him I, this think year. Gonna, I think they're gonna go real tight in, tight heavy. heavy. The two tight end, they, yeah. two tight end, everything. They're gonna go tight end heavy. And then they never had a run game anyway. They never. They, Josh is gonna have to. They need to learn game, a lot bro. about himself this year. We, we're gonna learn a lot, and he's gonna learn about a lot about himself because he's had his little his little blanket. And then, but they had a lot of games during the stretch last year where Gabe Davis had zero catches for two games in a row in the playoffs. Yeah, motherfucking. And then, and then Stefan wasn't getting no targets. So they're going to figure this out. I really feel like they're not moving too far away from what they were trying to do. It was already happening, but now it's time. Josh is going to learn a lot, and we're going to learn a lot about Josh this year. If Buffalo fall off, it's going to be because Josh is, is not who we thought he was. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and, and to me, a wide receiver is not – Gonna be you shouldn't be able to move your not, meter it's like not that. Gonna move that. You yeah, gonna, no. if, yeah, like, if you're if you're the guy, it's not gonna matter. It shouldn't move no, your meter like not that. like that. And, and let me point out some stats from Stephon Diggs. Please last do. last three elimination games combined, twenty four targets, two catches, what? ten receptions. Oh, okay, sixty three yards. Jesus. Yeah. So I don't know if the balls was bad or no 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 or well you're playing in Buffalo so I know that like I know it's gonna the, be bad weather oh he's gonna be playing on turf now in a dome for seven eight games no in Houston they have grass that they grow outside and, and they, bring it oh that's even better exactly that's even better exactly oh he's gonna be playing on natural fresh oh mm-hmm. yeah he gonna have a ball he gonna shut his mouth though. Because I'll tell you right no, now, he, they got a, uh, if he they got a, if and he, they coach is a nigga, and he's a real cat, and he, he played football. If, if he don't, so be quiet, the too. He gonna be out of the league. Yeah, yeah. D'Amico ain't taking nothing from nothing. Okay, so just bump yourself down and get ready to roll with C.J. Stroud. Yeah. So no, I, I don't think he made Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen actually helped his career okay. actually. You know I what agree. I mean? Because I he was in, in Minnesota with you no. Lucky you was linked up with Josh. Yeah, bro. yeah, and you know what's funny? The same trade that the draft pick that the Bills gave for Stefan landed them Jeff uh, Justin Jefferson. Wowzers! Yeah, damn. So the Bills could just they could have just drafted Justin Jefferson. You think? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> see, Imagine that, that. But yeah, you know, it's always the cutters, woodas, and things like that. But uh, yeah, the draft is a motherfucker. Hit and miss yeah, it. you never really know. You know what I'm saying? But I know there's a lot of wide receivers. It's a lot know. of wide receivers, and the wide receiver position is going to be a lot like the running back. They're going to just produce. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're going to be like, who? He got a thousand yards, 10 touchdowns. Who? Yeah, thousand. Yeah, thousand. Who? Thousand. Yeah, ten touchdowns. The owl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thousand yards, ten touchdowns. Wow! Wow! Thank you. Next, Get it. okay. So is this Dax last year in Dallas? They're not signing them. It very well could be Dax last year in Dallas. Very well could. It, it, if they don't win a first round playoff game, why bring them back? Why? Just to win 12 games? You, you, you know what I'm saying? You might as well go Trey Lance. Lance, get that off oh, your right. books. Trey Lance is over there. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Now you can put money other places, O-line, another, bring in some weapons to help Trey Lance. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if, if Dak Prescott does not win a playoff game, bro, yeah, you, 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 like, you, you, got, you got to let him go, bro. Imagine if they don't make the – imagine if, like, the, if Dallas have, like, a shitty a down year. And, and I'm not saying that Dak is not a good quarterback and won't go somewhere else and flourish. No, I'm not you know what I'm saying? That. I'm not saying that. But – as a cowboy, I got to get up off you, bro, because you're not going to get us over the hump. You know what I'm saying? You're a good quarterback, but you're not going to lead us to that thing, bro. Mm, it's hard for me because this year wasn't Dak's fault. Like, Dak played good. It's never his fault. No, 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 no. I disagree with that because he's had some, some playoff stinkers. Who they lose to? Both times, y'all. This year, they lost to us in the playoff. This no. time, I think they lost to. Uh, this time, they lost to Detroit. Detroit, what they have. So Detroit was a on three, fire though. Three hour. Detroit almost beat us. No, they lost to Green Bay. They lost to Green Bay. They lost to Green Bay. Yeah, they they Green Bay. We beat. Oh, that was yeah. They lost to Jordan Love, but Jordan Love was on fire too. He was on fire. Uh, I think that the Cowboys are in a very. very <laughs> Very bad situation in a peculiar spot. Mm -hmm. It's not a good spot. Precarious. For me. Yes, yes precarious. Yes. Because yes. they, they, um, precarious even. They, they, Jerry and all of them, while they, while they, while they're trying to spit this, we're all in shit right now. No, you're not. I don't see King Henry over there. The team, no, but you're all in. Y'all didn't bring in digs. Y'all haven't. Y'all didn't fish around. Y'all gonna have the brothers on the same fucking team. Y'all didn't fish around to see about digs. Nothing. Like, let me, let me tell you, like, Dallas looks like, eh, I have a, I root for Dak. Like, I really, I want to see Dak do well, and I guess it's just not going, it's not, it's not going to be in Dallas. So it'll be perfect if he leaves or if, he, or if they, whatever happens with him. I don't think it's going to happen in Dallas. I think, that, I, I, I'm i low-key hoping for Dak, Dak, that this you know is where, his last year You know year where Dak would, would be a great place for Dak to go? New England. No. New England. No, you don't need that. What, yeah, what you, we would love what him. you need. What you need it. What, what, what would be a great oh, I thought you were gonna say us. No, 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 no. Oh, no Y'all gonna have a, a rookie that's gonna be good and everything. Yeah, yay. You don't want to bring in damaged goods that you got to pay a bankroll to. <clears throat> Relax. Um, we're talking about Dakota Rain. Yeah, his name is Dakota, not Dak. Until he wins a playoff game, he's from he's now Dakota. So he's won playoff games in his rookie season. He won a playoff game in his rookie season. B. He he won. He hasn't done nothing since. He won a playoff game before he lost to both. Lost to y'all both times. seasons. No, it wasn't. So anyway, no, it he's two and eight. Okay, okay, so Dakota two and six. Ooh, that's not good. You two and six. Ooh, I think party eight and two already. But anyway, um, so uh, I mean, um, he need to go to Pittsburgh. That would be good for him. What are you talking about? There's three. You want three black quarterbacks over there? Like, no, nah, you want all the black quarterbacks. Russ gonna have coach? this year. Russ gonna be at a whole new team next year. He about to go on tour. He about to go on tour. Then it's Justin Fields. Then Justin Fields is not the answer. It's not Pittsburgh for that. Okay. He's well, been in a well, dome, look, look, in the comfort of a dome. He don't want to be outside. Not, look, whoever doing he, it in the AFC North. He's on his way. He definitely don't want to be in, 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 in out there with y'all. in Foxborough. That's where you go. No, win. no. He's been in the dome. That's where you go. Win. I thought he's been in the dome. Maybe go to the Colts then in a dome. Ooh. But listen, he's out of there. If he does not win a game, the Eagles going to be better. Yes. The Eagles going to be better. I That's believe, it. I They'll believe, be fine. They'll win 12 games. There's nothing. There's I nothing. believe I believe Washington, they split with Washington. They split with the Giants. And they probably split with the Eagles. They're going to have a tough um, schedule Every this year. Team. They yes. got a tough schedule this year. Yeah, they, do. they got one of the toughest schedules. I didn't already seen it. It's tough. Absolutely. Yeah. So I mean they're gonna they're gonna squeak out the wins, but I don't bring Dak back. You know, I got my GM hat on. I don't bring Dak back if he doesn't win a playoff game. I don't care who fault it is. It could be Mike McCarthy. He's oh, won playoff games. I don't I don't bring him back. This loss was Mike McCarthy's fault. It's always Mike McCarthy. Aaron Rodgers would have more Super Bowls if it wasn't for Mike McCarthy. And and Mike McCarthy game management sometimes is off. And I listen to I, let me tell you, I watch Speak and I listen to let me get uh You need to watch the Mac and Jay and listen to me. Yes, I do. James Jones always talk about he he tries to big up Aaron Rodgers all the time because that's the quarterback that won him a Super Bowl. But he also always says that like I could have swore that like 
we were going to be in more Super Bowls than it was than, than we it was McCarthy. landed in. It was McCarthy. Was it was McCarthy. The, the special teams against Seattle when Hasselback beat them. That game. You know what I'm saying? It was another game when they lost to uh I think it was like Atlanta or Dallas. They lost it was a special team. Like the key is in the detail. And then Tom went to the NFC and fucked him on the Oh head. yeah, Tom. When he thought just when he thought he was about to do something, Tom went to the NFC, cracked right. him in the NFC championship. I watched that with COVID in the uh, COVID hotel. I remember when you was out there. And then uh yeah, and it was like nigga like <laughs> I remember you at the COVID hotel. <laughs> I was in the COVID hotel. <laughs> you was like nigga, it's cool. Nigga. The hotel. <laughs> the cold hotel. By the time I got COVID in the 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 COVID hotels was done. They was like, yeah, we, we can put you in a room with six other people. No thanks. With COVID? Yeah. <laughs> what are we, how are we going to get better? No thanks. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I'm going to thug it out. Yeah. I got a spot to thug it yeah, out. I think, I, I think I'll be all right. Man. <laughs> put me in a room for the niggas with COVID. All yeah. I, I, I'll figure it out. Yeah, nah. Don't 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 trip, me. Don't trip. <laughs> Until I'm naked. Yeah. <laughs> I had the Omari on, so that, I was cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as the first one. You know what I'm saying? You done spilled all the roses, man. Thank right? you. No, uh, no, no, I just poured a lot. No, you spilled half of them. All right. Next. Clever B. Dak Duke. Dak Dunn. Bye. Dakota, I mean. Somebody else in the uh in the news. Zeke back to Dallas. Oh yeah, while we on that, let me do that real quick. Yo, yo, I seen the stats. It's like with Zeke the year before they had like twenty rushing touchdowns. Without Zeke, they had like eleven rushing touch touchdowns. We said that they should have brought Zeke back just for short yardage. Yeah, and look, the game that they lost when Pollard couldn't get that that short yardage, that was Zeke right there, homie. Three. That was Zeke. Three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, like, like, like come Dallas, on. You've already that. That's uh, what what, what they doing? What they doing now is uh, is is, 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 is redecorating the furniture. Too little, too late. Too little, too late. You doing the uh, what do I, what do I call it? That nigga Zeke had fifteen touchdowns that year. But ah! like, why short yardage? This all. That, that now, is, now you're talking about like you want to in, entertain it. Well, you got rid of Pollard. The whole point of Zeke was being a one-two with a woo and y'all didn't do that right. Y'all couldn't even get that together right. And so then now, yeah, yeah. and then now you want you want to try to bring them back after Pollard's gone. What I'm what I was trying to say is they doing the motherfucking they redecorating the furniture on the Titanic, bro. Right? Like the deck chairs, no one cares. The plane, yeah, the we're not going down, we're, and we're definitely not Man. getting on that little submarine. Who cares that the band is over here, yeah, and we're not and getting on that little submarine over. to go look at it either. No, with the joint with the little the joystick f- controller, Titan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no thanks, no thank you. I'm not getting on this little submarine to go to go down there either. You're not gonna be able to redo yourself and do the whole no, no, dummy. No, like this is this sounds so goofy, it's ridiculous, and, and I hope the cowboys actually do it to just further confirm. The goof tasm that is going on. Cause don't try to bring back Zeke for that and think like it's gonna you're gonna have a good year in it. Oh my god. Oh they, my god. That'd be sabotage in a, they, in a they, way that we they, haven't seen. They before. drafted a running back. They definitely drafted a they running back. They have to. They drafted a running they back. They have to. Yeah. Whoever is the wherever they're on the board, whoever is the they have to. No question. No question. No question. Whatsoever. So do they bring Zeke back? What do you think? No, I, I don't. Not at this no, point. no, not at this hell point. no. Yeah, not at this point. That looked real goofy. It's dumb as fuck. Yeah, it looked goofy. Your day late and down a short. Yeah, yeah. Like all of that is like you should have brought him. But he just had fifteen touchdowns. He just for you. fucked it off. He was winning your building. You, like, 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 yeah, the fact that you let him go sense. and then did some shit. It doesn't make sense. Zeke needs to try to go to a championship contending team. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and be like a a, a, a number two. You know, no, he's definitely going to be a number two to somebody who needs a little. He needs to go to Baltimore. They already got King Henry over there. I know. That's what I mean. Ooh. No, that's two pounders, though. Yeah. It's two pounders. Yeah. They need speed on pound. You're right. You're right. No, you're right. So he needs to be able to be the maybe the, maybe the thunder that somebody's like. He need to go out there to Pittsburgh. He needs to go to Miami. Miami. Oh, oh, with Monster. Yeah. Thunder, and thunder that lightning. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they are short yarders horrible. And you take yeah, some hits yeah, off yeah, to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there. Because Monster a little little. You fuck around, do some direct snaps to uh the boy, just let him go. Like, yeah, I mean, get 
I low key think that Zeke probably done. I think so too. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like he, I mean, like shout out to Zeke. Yeah, yeah, Zeke you're right, yeah. bro. You you got you your back. Thing, you did yeah. a thing. You yeah. had a hell of a career. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dallas, Dallas should have brought you back last year. Dallas yeah. should have brought you back. Yeah. They fucked your shit off. The yeah. running back position yeah. be goofy now. We said that. We said that shit last year. Somebody's lightning. We said that last year. Bring him back, man. Mm-hmm. Bring him back. We said it last year. It didn't make no sense. He needs to try to go play for Kansas City for two dollars. I would. I go for I, I say Andy. They, they love Pacheco though. Andy, I mean, they do, but you need a. They love Pacheco. Oh no, and he's you know he's a young pounder. And he's like a yeah shifty pounder. Yeah, but he, but when sometimes he need a break and he be getting dinged up. And when you need somebody on the goal line, you may be able to throw him Zeke in it. Hey Zeke, how about them for two dollars? They probably going for three. Him. I mean three dollars. They, they probably draft a wide receiver too. Okay, well, three dollars, man. But yeah, they look, they they made some moves. No, they did. Kansas City gonna be a problem again. Again. Yeah. Again, bro. They're going for that. That that three wop, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm never doubting them, bro. Mm-hmm. If they, I'm a Niner fan, bro. but if they in a, in a Super Bowl, no, I'm sick of doubting them. Like I'm like I, yeah. I, I've been doing I, it I'm since not, like, I'm Patrick Mahomes been there. I'm, no, I'm you, tired. Yeah, you been hate. I, I haven't been hate. I love Patrick Mahomes, but you, you hate him because he's too he's too close to the goat. So you don't want him. You don't want him to surpass Brady. That's yeah, shit. nothing to do with Brady. That shit getting too close for you. I just don't like him. It's getting too close for you, man. I don't like him. Like no, nah, you like him. You don't like him because he's getting too close to Brady. If it wasn't for Brady, nothing. no, he's a little Kermit the Frog. He's a little no, no. He he's sounds like a leprechaun. The football is he sounds like a leprechaun. The football game is out of this world. But, he but got, when your daddy was, but a, he got a dog in him. Daddy was an athlete. But, oh no, no, he got he, a dog. In he got he's a full on dog. Yeah, burp, burp. yeah. he he, he yeah. got all of that. Yeah, he ain't no buster. There ain't no buster in him. Yeah. And you you gonna find out if you try to. And he be woofing too. Hey, there ain't no ain't no slippage in him in this game for like I said. No, you don't be that. His daddy is a. You see his dad, his dad, you know. Daddy's a professional athlete, yeah. and his daddy is, I hate to say it, a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so that means Pat, Pat just likes you, bro. <laughs> hey, so Pat, hey, hey, Pat hey, got a shot. Hey, Pat just likes you, bro. He's like, he just hey, looks like this. Hey, don't, don't get, don't get it twisted, get it bro. twisted. Hey, he got a cold wobble. Don't get this hey, shit in a pretzel. Hey, 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 Pat got a he cold wobble. He got his little brother. He got the Hey, hey, Cat got a, hey, hey. Hey, uh, Pat got a call wobble, but he'd be like, what you say? Let's go in the bathroom. Hey, don't nobody else got to see everybody stay out here. Uh, come holler me back here. Hey, do not get it. Hey, right, come come back. And he ain't no little nigga either. He about 6'6". Six, six. And he ain't no. playing. And he ain't, and he ain't, he no, about, and he ain't no play. You going to find hey, out. You going to find hey, out. Hey, he he, he not 5'10 like Mike. He about 6'6". Mm-hmm. Right? You know what I'm saying? He ain't no little bitty guy. You going to find out. Yeah, yeah. No, Pat got a dog. Hey, yeah, he, he a dog, man. But uh, let's hop on to this next topic, man. Mm-hmm. Let's hop on to the, another topic of another dog. Brock Purdy. Brock is like a Brock, no. Brock is a baby face assassin. I'm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the question is wave on the Steph Curry. Hey, on everything. He's gonna end up doing it. He's gonna end up getting the ring. 49ers to make are the 49ers gonna make Brock Purdy the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. And I'm gonna take this out of your book, Jay. Do it. Yes. They're gonna pay him and get it out the way. Absolutely. They're not gonna play around with it. They're gonna pay him right now. He's gonna get two, three million dollars more, five million dollars more than a, the last highest paid Whatever person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's gonna be that. Whatever it's gonna be like Burrow. a. I think Joe Burrow's the last nigga to do that. Yeah. So it's yeah. gonna be like a four year. Three dollars more than him. Mm-hmm. Three hundred million. Three, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, two hundred eighty guaranteed or something like that. Like it probably be fully guaranteed now, but no, it'll be it'll, it'll be one sixty guaranteed. Something like that. Yeah, probably. No, it's gonna be about one two hundred guaranteed. Yeah, about 200 guaranteed. Highest paid. Yeah. So, Brock Purdy. I mean, and he won't be the highest paid because of the boy. I mean, uh, my man, Deshaun Watson. No, he's going to surpass Deshaun, like I said. He's going to be the highest paid. Making 45 million a year. He's going to get 50. Patrick Mahomes going to get 50 in a minute because he got that $500 million contract. He got to get 50 in a but, minute. But, but, but re him. Yeah, but, 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 but whatever the case is. So, they going to put Brock Purdy at 50 million a year? They're going to put him up high. I don't know what exactly what they're gonna put him at, but highest paid quarterback. 
I mean, this is the thing. When you look at Brock Purdy, he led the NFL in all statistical categories. Not all. Like, uh, but he had a good year. Uh, not all. He, he led he led the NFL in the majority of um, the quarterback rating percentage. Touchdown. Well, not if, if he played the last game, he would have oh, won okay. it. Well, not yeah. touchdown. Percentage, QBR, QBR. Uh, yards per throw. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, mo- the, the, the list goes on. Uh, seven out of ten categories. Yeah, he, he led them. Yeah, all. yeah. And, and, and he led his team to the NFC Championship twice and once to the Super Bowl. So you got to tear it off. If you didn't pay, if you if you didn't pay Tua, who ain't never took no team nowhere. <laughs> no, no, seriously. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not trying to so count. for real. Yeah, not, no, no. Kenny Reed. If, 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 Kyle, if, if Kyler Murray didn't got, got a toe off, ain't never took nobody nowhere. 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 If Deshaun Watson getting 200 million for doing for getting massages, you know what I'm saying? Then like that. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm with you on me. I'm with you. If, if Daniel No Dimes <sighs> got, I mean, he didn't get, they, they, they got it under bargain, but you know what I'm saying? He still got but paid. Yeah. And then if, if if Baker, no good Mayfield, got a bag, I know you like Baker, but I think he trash. No, he trash. I don't um, like Baker. Okay. But he got a bag. So he been to two, NF, two straight NFC championships. Baker been nowhere. Baker ain't sniffed. Uh, the shit that my man is doing. So, so Baker, that's had Baker getting into OBJ. He was just a number one pick. So oh, yeah. he was a number one pick. So that's why he. No, that's why. Yeah, that's why. So that's why. you can be there. There, oh, I mean, it, there's number one, and then there's uh, the, the last. last one. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, yeah. but but the it, last it's is still about, a one in it. But the last is still about to be the it's first still a one in it. The, the, the last one, the last is about to be the first. He still got a one in it though. He was the last one. He about to hit this. Concept. He wasn't the first one, but he was the last one. So, so it's still a one. He was the last. But what I'm saying is, nah, he about to hit a contract that Baker didn't even get to hit. No, he didn't get that. No. Baker got the rookie money for being number one, and nobody read him up. My man about to get. Uh, he about to stratus fry. And because he break, was, and Baker because he was so. Well, because he went to the Super Bowl because, and because he was last. They got to pay him this year, not next. Like he, he's. They gotta, no, he, they got to do it. Yeah. They got to do it. They got to do it now. Easy call. Yeah. So Mr. Irrelevant will make it around and will Mr. Irrelevant will become the highest paid nigga in the NFL. We never saw that before. It's gonna be the headline. You heard it here first on Mac and Jay. Mr. Irrelevant, highest paid cat in the NFL. And you know what we're gonna say? You are Mr. Purdy, because you throw a party ball. You are Mr. Relevant. Yeah. Back. And you welcome to the show. And we'll pop some. Rich for you. Congratulations on, on uh, recently getting married too. So you and your lovely wife. Oh, here it is. Here, here goes the cocktail drink on the back. Of it. Rich, that's what we was talking about. There it is. They say we're nice. Yeah, place ice cubes and large white wine glass. Yep. Pineapple, lime, ginger tea. Mm-hmm. Add one ingredient, so you pick pineapple, lime, ginger, or tea. Ah. Finish with chilled vuv, Clico. Rich Rose Emma. We gotta do that one day, bro. We gotta do that. Yeah. I just saw it on the back. Yeah. So a party. When you get rich, we're rich, we're rich you. And he's actually seven hundred and some thousand dollar rich for hidden incentives for person. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he hit everything that he yeah, fucking... yeah, he just got a seven hundred thousand extra the other day. Zilla Paula. Paula. Woo! Shout out to Wink. Oh yeah! Shout out, Wink. Wink Wink from the wood. Paula. Nigga, Wink, hit me, boy. When you see this, in ball church. Mister, never get his shoes dirty. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. It's the winter circle, my brother. All right, thanks. We're done with football. Oh, per per. (laughs) You know what? That was (laughs) per. Pun intended. Exactly. Boy, you really on it today, bro. You really on it today. Let's get to this. Embiid is back. Hey. And, hey. and looking good. Looking damn good. You know what I mean? Ah, but it looks like they're gonna be playing Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. If it if the playoffs ended today, ooh, they will be playing, and I'm talking about past the playing. They seeded right to be facing Milwaukee. And I love him, B. He, he nice. Oh, he, he's a bad motherfucker. But they ain't got enough come playoff time 
to, to play against Milwaukee. I know Milwaukee ain't looking good right now. They're, they're not, looking wild, goofy they're, right they're now. They look real mysterious. And it would be and it would be a Doc Rivers special. It would be fitting for Doc Rivers to fuck it off. And that would be the excuse. per usual. Per usual. Yeah. I mean, well, we didn't have no time to jail. You got Dame Litter and Ante Katupo. You got well, they haven't all got together yet. You got you got the boy uh 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 um Portis. No, not not not, not big eyes. Um, talking about uh um my, well, Chris Middleton. You got Chris Middleton. Middleton hurt. He he he, he, yeah, he began into the yeah, Chris Middleton. This bad elder into the Memphis. No, he didn't play. I mean, he didn't uh, play. Dame didn't play either. Ooh. Yeah, Dame didn't play. Well, Giannis either. did so Gian, well. Giannis was like. They should have sat Giannis too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But but Philly, welcome back and B. You welcome to the show. Pull up on us. And B. My African brother coming through America. But I, I don't believe you in Philly. Here. They they missing a piece. They missing something. You know what I'm saying? They they missing something. Ty- He's been in B. He's no, back no, now. No, they no. good. No, 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 no. Hey yo, and B back mean they good. He automatically immediately made, he just spurred the comeback from them coming back and winning the game against whoever he came back. He wasn't a shoot around, but he played in the game Mm-mm. against the Thunder. He, they beat the Thunder the other night, and then so so now what I'm saying is, and he's sitting out tonight against us, so we're playing Philly tonight. But I like the Embiid infusion now at the end of the year. Get him seven games under his belt. You know what I mean? Get him ready for the playoffs. In the playoffs, he's a matchup nightmare. No one has anyone in the East that can guard him. That's very important blank. He's a throwback center. That, no one has that, anyone that, in the East that, that, can, that can stretch the, the floor, too. Yeah. He can play inside out. He can shoot the three. He's he really nice, bro. That's why we really need to win this game tonight. You know what I mean? And get that out of the way. We need to solidify this Miami. CC. I can't wait to talk about Miami and then, so in a minute. But, yeah. We'll do it, but, uh, but, yeah. Yeah. And B, salute to you getting back, doing your thing. We're rooting for you. Philly's a problem now. Philly is not a problem. They are middle. So of, bro. They're middle of the pack. They're not better than the Milwaukee Bucks. Philly's Philly a problem now. No, they're not. I'm not worried about Philly. I'm not worried about Maxi. Why not, would you be worried about him? You're the Lakers. I'm, I'm just saying, this, as far as coming out the East, I'm not worried about Philly. Okay. Yeah. It's easy for you to say from here. No. Yeah. It's easy. Okay. It's easy for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm spitting facts. No. Yeah. No, you just. Easy, it's easy to say from here. That's all I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is shout out to MB. Welcome back. You don't have to match up with a seven foot, 300 pound cat. It's okay, he can. Oh, Max, he can score 40 points. We shut everybody else down. We good. Max, he scored 50 this year. One time. Okay. One time. They fell off once and B came and he couldn't carry the team in the East. Right. And they went from like okay. number two to like okay. uh, the play in. And we talking about Max. Well, now they in the seven. Now they in the seven. Now, now they behind us and everything. They in seven. Yeah, yeah. Maxi Pat. No, I'm playing. I, I like you, Maxi. Just playing. No disrespect. I'm. Yeah, that's funny. He got game, but they need. They they missing some stuff over there. Next topic. Wimby. Mister French Fry. Serving out the French fries. So the question is, is Wimby a top 10 NBA player? Go ahead. No. 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 No, no, he's not. I had to look at it, and um, I, had to, I had to look at the top 10 players. And the thing is, is you can't be a top 10 player and your team is uh, – um, huh? Because I ain't got no numbers. Um, um, you, you can't be a top ten player, and your and your team is like. Let me tell you what your team is. Last in the West, Spurs. They got eighteen wins. Son, they're last in the West. B. They got they're last in the West. B. You understand know what I'm saying? So so, no, Wimby is not in the top ten. Now, yeah, the night though gets the well, jump. No, 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 what, what I will say. 15 wins is what, what, rough. But what, yeah. what, 18 wins. Oh, 18 wins. What I'll say is this. 18 to 50, 50. Is if I wanted to really put them in the top 10, 
I could find a place for him. No, you could. Yes, I could. No, you could. I could. Not in the NBA. In the NBA. No, somewhere. How, you however, play for him somewhere. However, not in the NBA. However, the only reason why I, I don't have him in the top ten right now is because, we don't care about what's your only reason is because nobody gives a fuck because he's because, not a he's not a top ten player in the NBA. Because what I reference, he's not a top ten player in the NBA. What I referenced is, is top ten somewhere is, else is the record. You know he's not a top ten player in the NBA. So, but but what I will, nigga. Say, who the fuck you talking to? Oh, you nigga? Because you try to act like, because you try to make it seem like you like, oh, if I didn't caveat his ass. No, nah, the nigga's not a top ten player in the NBA right now. That's it. You know what I mean, it's not a big, it's not a big uh, to do a uh, hubba. Okay, so as as I the niggas, the niggas as nice. I though. was about to say, oh, he's what? Nigga, nice. Oh, okay. You you finally coming around to this side? No, it always takes you some time. Now that like I, I mean, was, like, like, like I was saying. Like I was saying, Wimby is not in the top ten. If I yeah, wanted to, yeah, I agree. I could find a spot for him. No, you could. I could take out some of these old players. No, you could. I, if I wanted to, it's my top ten. No, you could. But but why I do have Wimby is no, you could. I do have Wimby top fifteen. I got him top fifteen right now. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you do not. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You just haven't thought about it. Yet. No, I got a top fifteen. I put fifteen in front of him so fast, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I got a top fifteen. I put fifteen. I put. I put. I put 30 in front of that. So bad. It's yeah, because you don't like him. You a hater. I put 30 players in front of Wimby right now, nigga. It's ridiculous. But I do want to say respect to Wimby. You're doing your thing. You're all right. You know what I mean? Well, let me, let, let me tell you you're what You're better I, than I thought you were. Let me, let me tell you what our idea is. You about top 30. Uh, That's he, it. Bye. Night. He only put up 40 points and 20 rebounds the other night. He the first rookie to do that since Shaq in 1993. Mm-hmm. We're talking about over 30 years ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, ain't nobody done that since Shaq, B. He's seven four. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put a 40 points and 20 rebounds as a rookie. He's seven four. As a rookie. He's seven four. As, as a rookie, B. Listen, we'll be top 15 right now. By next year, he top 10. In my top 10. By next year. He can be wherever you want. Yeah, him yeah exactly. In the, because in the I, world. In the land, no, the this, land that you live in. No, no I'm not an if land. Mysterious land. I'm, I'm in the real land right now. Yeah, we'll be nice though. We, I mean, we be I, I, and we'll see what uh, happens when you get a. I think they had a number one pick again this year. It went like trash can ass backwards. Maybe they had a number two pick or something. Oh, but, let me tell you a fun fact. Let's do fun facts. Wimby got more blocks this season than the Miami Heat team total this year. Fun fact. Yeah, yeah. Wimby got more blocks than your squad right now. By himself, B. Fun fact too that he had nine blocks. <laughs> he had nine blocks the other night. Hey, Wimby had Wimby got more blocks by himself than your whole team, B. Can we fun fact? <laughs> Are we still going or can I go? <laughs> now that's funny, B. <laughs> do they have more wins? <laughs> do, do, do. That's hilarious. Do B. they have more wins or anything? I was just curious. Do we have anybody that's Oh five? man. Okay, cool. But what another oh, good, another man. good stat on Wimby is he's um oh damn I forgot my stat. Oh that's so but hilarious. Some, he uh he defensive player of the year as a rookie. He ain't no deep. He the deep boy, bro. He the deep boy. Next. He the deep boy. Yeah, yeah. Blame it on the rain. Don't blame me. <laughs> Hold on. I need I need to read one more stat to you. So, oh, yeah, I read stats. Yeah, I read stats. So last year, defensive player of the year was some guy in Memphis. He had a hundred eight. He had a hundred eighty nine blocks. Jerry Jackson Jr. Sixty five steals. Wimby on March nineteenth. So he th- this stat is old. Had two hundred and seven blocks. 76 steals. I rest my case, Your Honor. We'll be defensive player of the year. No. It ain't even close. It is. Next topic. He's trash. Miami Heat beat the Knicks the other night. Now, let me say this about that game and about Miami Heat beating the Knicks. Oh, wow. Big... Deal. Let's hear it. The Knicks is trash. What's we'll see the Knicks in the uh, 
Mm-hmm. You tell me. Oh, oh wait, wait, you, wait, wait. You tell me. You the one. You tell me. Look it up. But what I will say about this game is, like I was saying, when Terry Rozier, when Terry Scary, Rozier, the five seed and we the six seed. Just, just, just so you know, so it, make sure that we have to take you, care. You of said that. what? The Knicks are the five seed. Y'all the six seed. Yeah. What's y'all record? Forty-two and thirty-three. Okay, forty-two in the West to have you in the ninth seed. So, <laughs> yeah. Bump it down. 42 in the West, I have you in the ninth seed. That is correct. Like the Lakers? That, that's correct. Like like the Lakers? I think the Lakers got more wins than y'all. 44 and 32. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So what, what that got us in the eighth? No, ninth. Yeah, so exactly. So 44 we're, and ninth. So we're, but Golden State we're, has 41. Where would I have you? Where would I have you if you was in the West? <laughs> Are we in the West? <laughs> Good thing y'all not. Good thing y'all not. But let's get back to that game. Terry Rozier had 34 points on 10 of 15 from shooting, 8 of 11 from deep. That was a sleeper pickup that Terry Rozier, because Terry Rozier can get buckets and bunches. And the Miami Heat right now are starting to heat up. I want to give them their props. This is what they do. This is what they do. Jimmy is about to start amping up. The ramp up. Yeah. He's about to start. The ramp up. He's about to Yeah. Now, I, I just know what the heat do. It's the culture. You know what I'm saying? I can keep it real. I, I know how to keep it real. It's good to hear. It. I, I keep it 100. Okay. You keep it 50. You keep it 50. So, so, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I like it. So, the only thing is, is that. Oh, God. Here we go. The Knicks, you know, the boy is out. Julius Randle. Oh, Julius Randle, breaking news. Julius Randle had the shoulder surgery. Yeah, he does. He had to rewap it. Yeah, yeah. He does. He done. He done for the season. He may not be back ready for the beginning of the next season. So, yeah. Nick, so, Knicks is oh. done. They won. They make their playoff. They out. They first round exit. Because who in the four seed? Good question. Uh, Orlando. Oh, yeah. They not beat Orlando. <laughs> not with Banchero over there. <laughs> Yeah. Pablo Bancaro. Yeah. 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 Anyway, right. uh, Bancaro. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. No. I'll tell you right now. Oh, you're right. That, oh, you're right. That seating game is heavy. Yeah. Because right now we in the mix and then uh, we be playing Cleveland. But yeah, that. Or and Atlanta, see, Cleveland not playing five, well right now. Four or five Orlando Knicks. Yeah. But Spider came back though. They won last night. But, Cle- but, but, but the thing about Cleveland, see, the spider. catch them right in the, the, the spider. And they win. The spider. If they play y'all, the web is going to catch on fire. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And you know what it sounds like when spiders be in a fire? What? No, no. It sounds like, help me. Help me. I was at the homie house the other day. He had spiders in the garage. I took the lighter like this and got them on the web and just put them in the fire. Oh. Because they were trying to come down. The heat was making them come down. So it's waves just coming down, like I'm like, God damn, four spiders. Oh, yeah, I the house I was over there. When in the garage, uh at Rashawn House? Yeah, yeah. It was raining when I was remember when you took me over there. Was that over there or no? That was somewhere else. Probably, I don't know. But mm-hmm. but I went over there again. And, and then they had they, the spiders was coming down. Modus, Modus House? Was no, not Modus, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, not, not Modus. Shout oh, out Modus. Shout out Modus. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Modus. Ooh, we drunk that host and coral that night. Yeah, we did. Man. <sighs> Yeah, oh, that night in the garage, I don't want to Oh, man, I felt like- shout out MJ. MJ, you welcome to the show, man. Pull up on us, man. Easy, cool. That's your number one fan. He thought he was MJ. So, one day, can, can we get that picture? We, I got it. Okay, can I get it? Send it to me so I can put it up yeah, here for the people. Man. Viral, we'll do I, I, we'll, we'll have it on the yo throwback, man. Done deal, yeah, man. But listen, man, the New York Knicks is trash, trash. The Miami Heat is on their way up, and they ain't gonna win nothing. It's going down. They ain't gonna we win. Don't win nothing. It's going down. Enough said. What's yeah. up with J3? Who, what, who, My boy, High Cares. Balling. Okay. And wait till Hero get ready. Let me tell you something. Don't, don't, don't start because I'll, I'll try to let it go, but, but see, no. Now, now it's no. Because what I want to say is we haven't been healthy. Tyler Hero has missed the last month. Tyler Hero, trash. He's coming in. He missed the last month. Trash. And when he come back with Rozier, the Rozier move was heavy for us. 
we are just hitting our stride when we bring it all together. The ramp up for Jimmy is starting now. And he goes from 22 during the regular season to 31 in the playoffs. So get ready for your ramp up. We're ready for the Knicks or whoever you put in front of us round one. And let us be in a beautiful situation where we are. We'll take care of Philly tonight. Yeah, you know I mean, no Embiid. I don't know. He wasn't supposed to play. But if he does play, whatever. We'll beat Philly tonight, and then we'll stay solid in the in the in the bigs, and then we'll be fine. Yeah, y'all be fine. Uh huh. Yeah, we what, can't wait to play whoever. What I you say right now? The whole NBA. I mean, no, the East. The whole East is like, yeah, they're they're dodging us in Boston, okay. and we can't wait okay. for whoever next. We can't. We don't beat niggas by five, so I don't need anybody watching it. Go ahead. Nigga, you being passive aggressive, nigga? Something on your mind, nigga? Something what? on your mind? <laughs> All right, let's talk about this. So it was swirling around that maybe the NBA should consider doing this during the All Star game. Oh, yeah. Adam Silver was on the uh, show talking about. Trying to revamp the format and go ahead and go do USA, USA versus the world. Versus the world. Let me tell you something right now, America, y'all don't want that. <laughs> can we can we three on that? Can we two? Can we listen to the God? America, hey, y'all don't want to play the no, international. No, no, go make us play the. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't want to play international basketball right now. No, you don't want to. No, it's it's not USA versus a country. You don't want to play US NBA American basketball board. stars versus, versus the world. Sorry. Listen, you're talking about. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. like Jay-Z. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I tell the truth when I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah, listen, like, oh, yeah. listen, bro. We're, uh, no thanks. Listen, bro. Listen, <laughs> bro. First of all, LeBron is not a starter. He could be a starter. He has to be. Stop. Yeah, he has to okay, be come on, man. He has what to be doing? a starter. Why are you trying to start off like this? No, no. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, they got LeBron at the forefront of this picture, and I'm like, he can't be the best player. You need to have Tatum in the front or something. Like, like, like. LeBron's going to be on our team to represent America. Oh, man. We're going to lose, man. We need Kobe. Like, we need Kobe. Or, like, we need a defensive player. Like, where's Kawhi at? We need Kawhi. Jimmy. How's Giannis not on this thing? No, Giannis is right there. Where? He's right there on the other side of MB. He's just oh, that's nigga in the back right there. Oh, yeah. he, he looked like Russell Westbrook. Yeah, he looked like Russell Westbrook. <laughs> oh, okay, bro. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bro, who's gonna stop the Joker and B, fam? Go, oh. Luka Doncic. Come on, bro. Giannis. Like, come on, fam. With Kyrie coming off the bench and motherfucker. Like, yo, yeah, yeah, yo, son. Like, what? What are we gonna? Yo, check it. We. Uh, and this, at, is, this is what I you argued me down a couple weeks ago, and I was saying, where are the American hoopers at, B? They're not taking it serious enough no more. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you why the world the reason why the world is so good too. And, and see, somebody had told me this about 10 or 15 years ago. Why the it was why, me? Why the, go ahead, knock it off. Go ahead. It was a real person. No, go ahead. It was a real person. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it wasn't you. It wasn't you. <laughs> okay, Shaggy. So anyway, or whatever your name is, who sing that song? Uh, you welcome to the show too. Oh, perfect, Shaggy. Yeah. So, uh, except it wasn't me. Okay, so they they were saying that the international game was going to surpass America, and it's kind of has. And this is what I was saying the last. Well, they were week. wrong. Okay. This, this is what I was saying. And the reason why is because these guys are playing professionally at 15. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Professional ball. They're hooping. All they're doing is hooping. Uh -huh. They're not going to school. They're not going to class. All they're doing is hooping. Uh -huh. And it's a funny thing that 
that's starting in Atlanta right now. Mm -hmm. It's Elite Academy. What it's what, been around, but 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 it's starting to really pick up though. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's starting starting to really pick up. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So where you can act where kids are actually gonna go there and get paid to be there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but that is why the international players. Right now, if you look at the game, the best players, low kids, top 10 is probably half and half. Half international, half U.S. born, top five. Top 10 right now. Probably 50-50. Okay, now I got to go on my thing. Are you finished? Because I want to go on my thing. I'm done. Okay, perfect. And then, So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into a – a bit of a buy conversation about what we're going to talk about. There's a two things. Basketball, as far as what we're saying about international, the impact that I'm a, the impact that the dream team had on international basketball definitely made it so that the rest of the world got better faster. I agree. They got you're caps, right. They, bro. They're going to school all day with Mac. Them, Mac. They've been being able to be professional since before the dream team happened. That's what I'm saying. So it, we're fine. Now we know that Luca was a pro at 14 and Sabonis. We've been international players have been in the NBA for a long time. But what happened was the NBA, which I love the NBA. You know what I mean? Mostly because they make a lot of young black millionaires happen all the time for motherfuckers who make it, and it's 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 already hard enough to make it to the NBA for a sport that we invented, and not just here. No, we didn't invent shit. So go ahead. Basketball was invented by James Naismith in America, in Massachusetts. Basketball is a get American, to your point, please. Is an American sport. So don't when I said we invented oh, we invented basketball. Black. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So when international people come in there, they they would be coming to America to play. Go Oregon. ahead. Okay. Okay. So you took me on the hint. So it is good to see international players. They've been influenced by basketball. Michael Jordan did all of this for the globalization of basketball. Michael Jordan. Can you get to your point, please? I, I will sh shortly. Just damn. Excuse me, young player, because I'm off the hit. So Michael Jordan made. Oh. Michael Jordan made it from when it was. Um, it was Lakers Celtics to when it was Michael Jordan and the Bulls coming in to play Magic Johnson and so he changed again marketing the game. Then they took them ninety two international dream team came the world got better. We love the international players, but the NBA has gone to another level with the embracing of them, it made it harder for the young no, for, all of, that for, these, for these young black the young dudes are not that good, and they've made the the game is more. Of an international type game, they're moving. And see, what, what I want to say is, and that's what I was saying a couple weeks ago. Ho, ho, can, can I go? Where or is you, the talent? Are that, that's what I'm here? asking you. No, like, our talent, talent has there. regressed. No, they're not that good. No, no, that's yes. not what happened. That's not what happened. What happened is a game that we invented. They brought in some um, imports, and what happened was their stretch fours became their international big man shoot threes. Are we had the paint? That's why there is a paint. We don't even know why there is a paint anymore. Now, now nobody's in the paint. You don't even call it the paint. It used to be called the paint because people were in there. Now it's just a key. Now it's just a space. Nobody knows what it is because basketball has moved outside because they took the physicality out of basketball, like they did with football. They legislated it out. They this is another thing that they've done with my sport. Steph Curry. With the three point line and the money making and the softization of basketball has gone to another level. They want to bring these international motherfuckers in. They're good. No, Giannis is good. No, they're the not. Joker is they're, good. They're not. They're, Giannis is not good. They're okay. Like, oh, bro, but, keep it 100. You know what I mean? They are, I mean, they are. Keep it 100. Yo. If we were, you're right. If 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 they would let us hone our crap, but no, they make sure one and done can't happen. They make sure everything that they do because it's a black sport, born in America, done everything that black people are involved with. They make sure that we 
are selected fighting against each other. Yo, doing yo, it. Mr. Scott just tapped in. He said one that doesn't have to help either. The one is the worst the thing fucking thing in the world. If I play the fucking piano, if I play the the the, the if I'm a if I'm a student, I'm a pro. Listen, it man. was a fifth. We all listen, drunk. listen, listen. They only cap the football and basketball. My thing is period. This. Okay, listen, bro. You're going on a tangent. And, and the thing about the one and done is, is if, if, if okay, I get it. You you want to be able to go straight. Doesn't make sense. You want you want to be able to go straight out of high school. They made a rule, you can't. So now you make an adjustment. If you was good that for, that year before out of high school, you're gonna be good the year after. So hold on. My thing is this. This, I want to focus on an international American All Star. Do that before you know I go saying? back to. Well, can I do the high school shit real quick? It doesn't. It doesn't, so have, so nothing, it doesn't have nothing to do with the topic, though. Go ahead. It, but go ahead. It doesn't have to do with the topic. But go, say what you got to say. Because you you act like because I'm able to draft an 18 year old or whatever that I have to. Because high school students are available to draft. That doesn't mean that you have to fucking draft okay, them. Like, but, goddamn. Okay, but so, wait, draft wait, somebody a, who went to college. It's a mute point now. So, if you, it's a mute so point if you take a risk on a motherfucker who's coming from college, then that was you taking a risk. It's a mute point. I mean, from high school. If you take a risk on somebody who came from high school, then that was you taking a risk. Okay. And it has nothing to do with it. So, why would you stop a motherfucker from being able stopped, to make money at doing. what they do? But now you can go overseas. The, like, if you if you want to make money. In America. If, in America, if, bro. If, if you want. If you want to make here, money, if you want to make money, if, if you don't want to go to college, you can go sign to the G League now. You can go sign overseas now. now okay, yes. okay. Yeah. So 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 there's solutions to that now. All right. Now. So, yes. but my point is this: the international players are just a little bit better than the American. And I was asking you a couple of weeks ago I about, agree. about this. Why is that? Why are the international players? Better than the American players. Is it because it's too easy in America? Is it because international players are, they're actually, they have schools that's dedicated to just basketball. Like you go to school and all you do is play basketball six hours, four hours a day. And then you, you know, like, so what is the difference? Why is the American player starting to tell off the talent? And that's what I tried to tell you. But, I'm, I'm, and Gilbert Arenas, like tapped into it and talked about it in his in the little podcast that they have in there. The NBA is the one who's done it. It's not the talent that you're seeing. The NBA has changed the rules. It has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with it. If you can't hit a three, you can't hit a three, bro. Matt. If you can't hit a three, what does that have to do with anything? Why are we, what, we're talking about, first of all, I said change the rules. What rule? The one and done? Calling Fouls oh, in the NBA. Man, come on, bro. That don't got nothing to do with your skill, bro. Bro, I, see, sometimes when I talk to you about basketball, like we we we, we go, we, we like I can't go there with no, you. No, but you, because not... playing basketball it is different, bro. And like, like I tried to reference Gilbert Arenas because he broke it down really, really nicely in this shit. And they have changed the rules of the game to make it less physical. To di ha, 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 ha. can deal, I can I deal can, with it? Less physical. They been did that. The no, nah. they been did that. They did that with Jordan with the no hand check, bro. Yes. Okay. They been stopped that. That was in the nineties. Okay. Well, they been stopped the hand check. We, see, 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 this is where I'm saying that the N NBA and the NFL, they they're just going too far. No, you can't. Hack no, people. They're going to. That's no, not no, stop. See, here you go again. That's not see, basketball. Now, like, so, you know, so now you're like you're like hip drop. You can't do it. No, you can't foul people anymore. Now you can't. You can't. Now you can't foul people. You can't. You can't. Now the now the paint shouldn't even be you relevant. You can't excessively foul people no more. As things go on, what are you talking you about? Make improvements. What do you mean stuff? excessively foul? What what does that even you mean? Can't flagrant foul people, bro. Duh. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, this is what That's I mean. That's not basketball. Duh. Foul? Is it a foul? Is it called a foul? Can you do it? <laughs> they call it a foul. Then you can do it. They have levels of fouls. And there's fouls you in the can't game. Close so you can, somebody went in the air. I didn't say close line. That's not I said, basketball. I said, can you foul somebody? And there's levels to foul. There's flagrant. There's technical. There's regular. So, God damn it, fouls happen. So, what I'm saying is the NBA, the NBA is complicit in the internationalization of the game because they wanted to make the game international, solving it up, bringing them in, and 
my point is doing that is it's diluted the whole game. It's the NBA is the culprit. There's not there's not less what? talent in America. Nigga, there's not less talent in America. Are you like do you hear yourself when you say there's less niggas that can hoop in the streets of I'm not America? Talking, I'm not talking about the streets. But I'm talking about, I'm talking about well, I'm that's talking, what, I'm, what, I, what, I, what I'm asking you is if you could take the emotions out and listen to me. What I'm asking you, you sound crazy. What I'm asking you about is the NBA. What has changed? Why the rules? No, it's not the rules. No, it is the rules. It's not the rules. What happened is, is it's the rules. To me, I, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna answer my own question. My own question is the rules have changed. What, what, to me, what happened is the international players just got better over time. They're not better. They are. Joker, that's- Joker, Giannis, Luca. We ain't uh say Shay Gid, uh Gilders, Alexander. When when have we seen uh international players that good, bro? They got better. They got better. And, 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 and basically over time. Oh, they've gotten better. Yeah. So what okay. They've gotten better. So here's what I'm willing to say. I'm willing to say that international players have gotten better. Yeah. They've gotten better. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. They're not better than the players in the NBA. They're not better than the NBA players. International players have gotten okay, better. Well, let me ask you a question. The international let players me, who play the NBA, let me go down the line. they've gotten better. Let me go down the line. Because I can go down the line of a lot of international mysteries. Let me go down the line. You're naming three, five motherfuckers. I'm talking about the best right now. Okay, well. Let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Nigga. Okay, so Giannis, who better than Giannis in the league? I don't care. That's American. I'm not talking about that. Who better than Joker right now? That's American at his position. Who, Embiid. Who better than Embiid? Embiid. Embiid is not. He's international. Oh, 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 oh. Embiid international. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Embiid international. Who better than Embiid? Who better than Luka at his position? I'm just saying. Kawhi. Get off. No. Kawhi don't play enough. Uh, AD is who I'll put on. Uh, AD Embiid. don't play enough. Okay, well. You don't, 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 and, and B does it be play and, enough? And B cook does it be play enough? And B did cook. Does it be play enough? Does it be play enough, nigga? What the shit you just <laughs> saying? Don't ever try to put it B in front of me when hey, I listen, say AD. They, they play, so, so they then, play about the same amount of game. Yeah, get the and, fuck out of here. And, and listen, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Hey, look. So, and, and, never, okay, and B, and B, I'll go on there. And B did start over, him. start over, so I can go American. Oh, okay, okay. LeBron, okay. I put LeBron on LeBron where I'm going. You see, LeBron done. Well, I'll put him on where I'm going. LeBron fuck done. Okay, so let's go America again. Okay, okay. Because I didn't know you were doing. Okay, okay. Let, let me let me say this real quick. Do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Point guard. Who? Let me say this again. Okay. Not the out, but let me say this. And B cut AD every time they play. Okay, great. All right. Now AD great. ain't beat him the last seven times. And <laughs> so, uh, yeah. A A D soft. A D soft as cotton. He's softer than Paul soft. Knock it off. Anyway. I'm rooting for the world, but still, don't ever try to. No, dis- okay. So let me go point guard. Shea Gidris Alexander. That's your guy. I could put a multiple of uh who better than him right now? He 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 already running for MVP right now this year. Who better than him right now? I just I just, I have game out there. <laughs> I'll take game. Dang old now. All right, at the at the at the uh Giannis. Well, is that the two or what? You skipped the two. Or we have the three. Well, who, where's I'm Giannis? Going, I'm going Giannis. I got AD on Giannis. I, AD is with Giannis. So go ahead next. The Joker. The Joker. I'm putting the Joker. MB. Hold on, hold on, for the Joker. Luca. We have Kevin. Sabonis. I mean, no, it's a lot I of good put players. Triple J on there. Uh, Morant, Jaws not healthy, but I put uh, like we got. But look, we, it, I'll be able to it, feel it, the it, team. You have Kawhi. I wish I didn't have to do this on the fly. You have LeBron. They can guard everybody, yeah. and then the big man that I put. No, no, I don't want Bam involved. Bam, in it. too little. Bam's not uh big enough. For, no, you're right. I don't want Bam. Bam's not involved in it. He could be a four, but no, big man. Mm, mm. Maybe go Miles Turner or somebody on your know, <laughs> big cat. But <laughs> uh, motherfucking um, I might go uh, I might go uh, don't say Rudy Allen, Gobert, my nigga Allen, and don't let don't don't nigga don't. 
Let, and don't let Anthony Edwards come out. Don't let America. don't let Wimby come out. We don't we don't have no Ooh. problem. With so once Wimby come out, it's gonna be over. It's gonna be international for right? KD for KD with Wimby. Nigga, can cook KD. KD Wimby old. KD done. Like KD done. When they bring the world in it, it's wild. Yeah, the world, the world, the world make it wild. You know why it's cheating though? Because it's, it's all, the world. You know why? Because all over the country, it's all exactly. over the world. Exactly. It's not just America. And all these niggas, all these niggas that yeah. made their life to make it to the so, NBA. So, really, so really, at the end of the day, it's not really. It makes sense that it's that many good people because it's the world. It's all the country. Michael Jordan did that. You know what I'm saying? It's all the country. That was Michael Jordan. Thank you. No, thank you. That was Michael Jordan. Listen, man, get off it. <laughs> Michael Jordan made get the off world Michael. better for all of us. All right, look, all right, look and, at that. And that's in literally, figuratively, and everything. Here go a little spider. We can put in the fire. We got some fire? Ah! Ah! We ain't done. He's going to live right there. The infamy. Spider is done. Spider the fire! Michael Jordan made the world better for the NBA and everybody. So shout out to international stars. Shout out to Michael Jordan. But, but when you look shout at out it, the Dream Team. But when you look at shout it, out to the Dream Team. When you look at it though, uh, yes, yeah, out the Dream Team. But when you look at it though, really, when I when I actually play it all out, the world team is from the world, and the U.S. is just from America. So it makes it a little different. But they looking nice. Nah, I don't think we'll nice. beat them. I don't think we'll beat them. I know we won't. I don't think we'll beat them. At I all. know we won't. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was asking you to uh, put the matchup together, but you couldn't. You tried, though. No, I didn't. You tried, no, you didn't. Fine. You didn't put nobody with Giannis. You didn't put nobody with Embiid. LeBron, AD. Man, Motherfucking yeah. LeBron is done. LeBron, AD. LeBron tired. Motherfucking Miles Turner. <laughs> we got big guys. Stop it, B. Stop it. They can fill the whole team at seven feet. Stop it. With Porzingis, Giannis, motherfucking Embiid, Wimby. Wimby. They, they, could, they could just do a Bruh. Porzingis, Giannis, Wimby, Embiid, and Giannis, Joker, and Giannis, Joker, and, and Giannis, and Giannis could carry, could be the ball handler. Nigga, Wimby, Giannis, Embiid, and Wimby and Giannis, Porzingis, Wimby, Joker. Giannis play the one. Wimby play the two. Porzingis play the one. Like, are you Giannis familiar? played the one. Porzingis is a. I don't think you've seen. I don't think you know. No, him. I, he's no, seven I, three and he's ridiculous. I, I, I know. Like, yeah, no, we wouldn't. Be, I've been telling you about Porzingis for a minute. Shut the fuck. Next. I've been telling you about Next. for a minute. Next. Go. Fuck out of here. I've been telling you about Porzingis for a minute. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like. You all right? Right, oh, <laughs> nigga over there making noises and shit. Sippy cup ass. Nobody hurt you, nigga. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, okay, nigga. <coughs> anyway, uh, saw so the Lakers beat the Wizards the other night. Blow that out. Lakers up seventeen in the in the fourth quarter, third fourth quarter. Wizards make a comeback, be down by two. Lakers take the lead back up to twelve. Everybody sit on the bench. Wizards fight back, make a three-point game. Lakers come back, blow the lead back up again, and we handle the Wizards. And that's what we do. We eight for nine in the last nine games in Tennessee. We won eight in a row, yeah, eight out of nine. We won eight out of nine. And you're in the nine seed. Our record better than yours. You're in the nine seed. We got more games won than the Heat, than the lukewarm. Are you in the nine, right? But we got more games than the Luke one. Are you in the nine, or where are you at? We we got we in a play in, right where we want to be. <laughs> we're exactly where we want to be. Right, getting hot at the so end of the you, season. So when you started the season, when you said when, when the season first started and it kicked off, you said LeBron, AD, and the Lakers, we get it in, yeah. And the Lakers, you said you said ninth seed going into the play in. Well, when you have old, when you have is that, what you said? I'm just asking. Oh, well, we, no, I mean, did we, you say that or no? I mean, it's a yes. It's, it's like a yes or no. Did, well, you, did the, you say at, that or no? In the beginning of the season. At the beginning of the season, <laughs> I thought that we were going to be at least a six seed. You, 
You talk about AD and the Brown and the, and the, the Rock. All this squad. And the new, well, well, but you had the misfits that you got. The Le whole team Le was coming together. LeBron older now. So. Oh, okay. LeBron older. And you thought those new niggas and everything. In the, and so you thought 6 e when you came in. So they real old. Anyway, shout out to like we doing fine, and we got four more games, and we got five more games. We probably win four out of five, and or cap, or cap. That's cap. Really, that's the super cap. But go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Next topic. Mm -hmm. Should the Warriors keep Draymond Green? They have to move off Draymond. Like Joe's Draymond. Who's <laughs> <It was> Draymond? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I don't know who Drake mine is, okay. bro. All I know is, I, yeah, I watched the game when he had a, another triple single when he had a good block at the end on, Ga on Gafford and everything, and it was and they closed it up, and the Ga and, and Golden State's on a little run and everything. Listen, 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 listen. Golden State, you gotta cut the cord, B. you gotta let it go. I know, I know how it feels and everything. Uh, I know they like they gonna get rid of Drake. There's so many people that you did like. And I hope we get Clay. Clay, be ready to uh, go for a run for us. We'll be ready to pick you up. Draymond, it's time for you to fall by the waistline, and then we'll see what goes on. Somebody pick you up. You are a niche fit for Golden State. Your antics and everything, because now your game has gone to just pure antics. And so, or, and a sit only with, you're only workable in Golden State's offense. That's it. Nobody else can use you. You're you're a junkyard dog. Bye. Good night. C'est la vie. Should Draymond should the Golden State Warriors get off? Yes, of Draymond. Go ahead. Oh, I, just, oh. I say no. Huh? Honda. Hunting. You got to keep Draymond. You got to keep Clay. Next topic. I don't think you need no more, B. Yeah, I, think I, I, I think you good. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> you need some water? I just, I get some water. Right? You need some H2O? It's some frozen water. <laughs> I, think, I don't think you need no moss, Holmes. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Last topic. Women's Final Four. Set uh, Iowa, Connecticut, Indiana, Ohio State. Right? I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, many of set though, but yeah. Yeah. Juju, yeah, they playing them. Indiana Final Four. Shout out to the North Carolina State, uh, to uh, the men's and women making it to the final. Oh, that's four. North Carolina State. Yeah, okay. NC State. Yeah, NC State, State. made it to uh, the final four playing for Indiana. Men's and women. That's bars. That's a big deal. That's heavy. Shout out to the school for doing that. That's that's some wild shit. But um, and shout out to Juju a show for how she did. She's not in the final four. I know, but just shout out to her for how she performed in the Elite Eight freshman scoring record. Took USC to where they had to go. Yeah, shout out Juju. Shout out. That's Juju. a homeboy. Uh, you know what I mean, little cousin. Okay, gangster. And then uh, and then uh, <clears throat> we definitely need Paige Beckers because let me tell you, so y'all be playing around with the game, but Paige Beckers, we know Paige. She been going. She's a go. She won freshman of the year before uh, Caitlin Clark and all that shit. Like she was Caitlin Clark. If it wasn't for the ACL, she. It, it, so, like Paige, Paige ready to rock and rizzle. We know she ready to rock. We already been on. You know, this I need draft, her to knock this off. This this draft, bro, of women going into WWE dum dum is bananas. Big three trying to get Caitlin. Like Ice Cube trying to get a he like yeah hey, hey, oh fuck it they want to give you uh nigga they want to set your your ceiling low make five million for eight games if I was her I go do that for sure easy call that I already signed that yeah five million okay that's two point five after taxes run it run it yeah so shout out to the women shout out to the men too hey yo no but this uh -huh. is okay. I apologize. Yeah, you need to. I need to go on to a uh, something right now. WNBA, WNBA it has listen. WNBA, listen, they gotta they gotta get more viewership. You have to do better. They, they gotta they can't afford to. This pay has them. this is a referendum on the WNBA. It ain't no money in it. There's nothing but stars.
coming out of college, of women's college basketball. Well, watch more games, B. All we know is – Will you watch more games? All I'm watching – Okay, will, are, you, will you watch some WNBA games? How many WNBA games you been to, motherfucker? What? what? How many games have I watched? I asked you a question. I went to at least three Sparks games. In your life? Yeah. Lisa Leslie times. Yeah, at least right, three. Well, we'll, we'll get your bars up. Yeah, no. I've been to over I, 20 WNBA games. No, you have not. All over the country in the Cap. world. Why are you lying, bro? Super Cap. I've been to probably five. You know Cap. I mean? You just want to be say more than me. Well, I've been to five easy. Knock it off. I think I've been to 10. Anyway, listen. I'm closer to 10 than five. But what I'm saying is. These, let, let, me, let me say this because you, you, you're a complainer. All you complaining people about one the WNBA to pay these players more. Watch the game. Go to the game. Go to the game. Stop complaining and support it. And then guess what? It'll be some money in it so they can pay the players. The NBA wasn't paying all these people these hundreds of millions when it first came out. Stop. The W they was getting three thousand dollars a game when it first came out. They was working other jobs, just like the women are. These are the pioneers of the game right here. These are the Maraviches and the and the uh Bill Russell's and and all them players, bro. This is who we seeing right now. They, the NBA making too much money. They got to do that. It's, it's different league. NBA is different than the WNBA. It's two separate. No, it's entities. not. It's the same. It, it it's, wouldn't exist without it, it's the NBA. Two separate entities. No, it's not. Two separate entities. The NBA and the WNBA are a child from a mother of birth. Two separate. No. Entities. No, no. He, can you stop came from the womb? Spraying it. Spraying it. Let me put the womb on you. Nah. After nah, birth. No, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. Pause, bro. Pause. Nigga. Pause. Um, NBA. Pause. How could the WNBA exist without the NBA? Pause. Listen, bro. It's only been around 20 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. Keep putting in work, B. It ain't overnight. Ain't nothing overnight. Keep putting that work. No, what I'm saying is the NBA. Has what to I'm better. saying is no. The, what, the, what you're saying is irrelevant. Watch the games, nigga. Ain't nobody gonna pay. They do watch the games. The no, viewership is there. Twelve million for the for for this uh, LSU against. That's not the WNBA. Ain't no twelve million people watching the WNBA. They about to get drafted. Yeah, we'll let's see if you transfers over. Let's see if it transfers over. The NBA has to make that happen. The NBA can't make nobody watch the games. You don't. Obviously, you don't know anything. Can we end it? Mac and Jay, episode 143. We love y'all. Salute the troops. Salute the troops. Baby! I'm going to see about baby Jesus in the manger tonight. Go ahead, end it. We do it. Yeah. And then push it. Ah. Sherlock.